Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook, The Super Queen of the Pokemon Era. Chapter 1. Shock. In order to skip class, a first grade student in a certain elementary school in Shencheng used Ditto to transform into himself instead of attending class. Quote. Shock. Last night, a well-known website launched a voting activity of, what do you think is the most perfect way to skip class? A total of 108 ways to skip class were listed, among which, use ditto to replace yourself in class, ranked first with 95% of the votes. Quote. Shock. This morning, the Ministry of Education issued an important instruction on the official Weibo, to strengthen the learning of Pokemon by teachers, especially pointing out the analysis of the detailed morphological differences after ditto transform, and requiring in-service teachers across the country to study and study in depth. Quote. Shen Chung, in a first grade classroom of a certain elementary school. A six year old little Stephanie with gold hair, big eyes, and milk like skin looks like a doll from a cartoon. I am holding the first grade of elementary school in my hand, which is issued uniformly, integrating life, study, games, telephone communication, surfing the internet, ID card, and bank card. It took several years to develop Pokemon Pokedex developed by the scientists of the Global Pokemon Alliance. It claims to be absolutely uncrackable, absolutely no backdoor, and the bound citizen is definitely the only authorized person. Ignoring the strange eyes that loomed over from time to time and the whispers of the students, the little Stephanie checked the headlines and hot spots on the internet with a look of lovelessness. If you look closely, you will find that she only has half of her buttocks sitting on the chair. Funny. You see shock department. You are everywhere, little Stephanie said in her heart. Finally, the class bell rang, little Stephanie put away the Pokedex, and the classroom fell silent. Teacher stepped on the bell and walked into the classroom. Good teacher. Hello students. After the stereotyped hello in class, the teacher first glanced at the whole class and finally fixed his eyes on a certain little doll like Stephanie and said, Chen Xiao Xiao. Looking at the students in the class whose shoulders kept shrugging as if they were stimulated by something, Chen Xiaoxiao's face that had just calmed down turned dark again, and he stood up helplessly and replied, Here. Well, it's fine if it's not ditto, sit down. Teacher said that he was serious and that he wasn't joking, but the corners of his mouth could not help but curl up slightly. After that, the whole class finally couldn't help but burst into laughter. MMP, you are ditto, your whole family is ditto. Chen Xiaoxiao sat down with a dark face while roaring in her heart. That's right, Chen Xiaoxiao is the protagonist of this book. She is six years old this year. At the same time, no one knows that she is no longer the original Chen Xiaoxiao, because her body has already been occupied by a soul from another world. She, or, he, in another world comes from a planet called, Earth. 22 years old, orphan, named Chen Xiao, known as the, Four No. Youth in the 21st century, no car, no house, no savings, no girl. Finished college on vacation odd jobs and scholarships. When I just received my graduation certificate, I played a game called Pokemon all night in a rental house with an area of only 12 square meters. When I was about to pass the level, I found that I turned into a little Stephanie when I closed my eyes. After receiving the memory of the previous life, I realize that I have traveled through time like the protagonists of various online novels in the previous life. In order to confirm the authenticity of the existence of a certain creature in memory, the protagonist urgently needs to understand the basic situation of this world. In line with the principle of asking Chiandu when things happen, whether there is Chiandu here or not, there is a universal Pokemon Pokedex in the room in memory, just try it. Find a cute Eevee-like satchel and find a Pokemon Pokedex that looks like a past life tablet. Then turn on the Pokedex internet function according to the method in memory, and after a try, you can find out that this world is also full of thousands of degrees. After searching various keywords through Chiandu search, she got the information she wanted. Through detailed analysis, Chen Xiaoxiao confirmed that she had traveled to a world similar to her previous life, but with various Pokemon. The place where I was born is still called Washa, and the global geographical distribution is similar to the previous life, but the development of the overall society is quite different from the mainstream. This world has had Pokemon since ancient times, and Pokemon has been fully integrated into people's lives and all walks of life since its development. 
The most famous celebrity here is not all kinds of fresh meat but Pokemon trainer. The most famous competitions are not the Olympics, football, basketball, but various Pokemon competitions. Among them, the annual national competition and the global alliance competition have even higher ratings up to 80%. The civilian part of its upper social structure is similar to the previous life, but the combat power part is the same as the Pokemon world. Since the formation of the Pokemon Alliance by countries around the world, each land has been configured according to one region, one champion, and four elites. Elites are generated through the Elite Challenge, and the champion must have the strength to defeat the incumbent Elite Four. At the same time, gymnasiums are set up in various big cities, which are also established through selection and are responsible for local security. There are Pokemon centers in major cities that provide trainers with healing services for free. Appointment at all levels and Power Organization Alliance has a sound election mechanism and power responsibilities, which will not be detailed here. And some celebrities and various grand dupe companies also roughly exist, and the main business is similar, but the main structure and core have changed a bit. For example, the richest Manchu in his previous life also operated real estate, but here the company is called Dong Machamp Group, and its core competitiveness lies in the word Machamp. At the same time, create a happy penguin empire with heart, salary. This also exists, but the penguin icon in the previous life has become Piplup. It is said that Piplup is the Earl Dervish Pokemon of Xiao Ma, who grew up with Xiao Ma. To commemorate the former green years, the company adopts Piplup as a trademark. And maybe in this world, the Pokemon Alliance developed the so-called omnipotent Pokemon Pokedex, which basically replaced computers and phones, so some companies that mainly deal in computers, mobile phones and other electronic products in the previous life disappeared here. From the information in memory, I know that little Stephanie's mother died shortly after giving birth to her, and her father is a powerful trainer, majoring in superpowers. Since he went out to explore the alien world a year ago, he has never been back. Only one of his main Pokemon Alakazam dragged his seriously injured body with his last breath to bring back his relics and an unknown Pokemon egg found from the alien world. At home, he died in the end. Afterwards, little Stephanie was brought up by her grandmother, who was an apex Pokemon breeder family, and she ran a small breeder farm in Shencheng for the sake of quality rather than quantity. The Pokemon eggs produced by her breeder's Pokemon are not in the market and are only sold to acquaintances, but the supply is still in short supply. Yes, according to the setting of Philu Orphanage, the protagonist should have been an orphan. But I don't know if it's because of dressing as Stephanie, according to the principle of poor raised men and rich raised girls, there is a little deviation here. The protagonist did not completely dress up as a lone star like the other male protagonists, living a miserable life. There is also a grandmother who takes care of and inherits the legacy of the original owner's father, and she has a relatively good start. After a short period of panic, anxiety, and confusion, I was pleasantly surprised after learning about various situations, and now I accept it calmly. Chen Xiaoxiao has been in this world for more than two months. At the same time, as a 6-year-old child with a 22-year-old mature soul, there is always a serious problem that bothers her. Which is to go to school. Even if this is a society full of Pokemon, what do you think the first grade of elementary school can teach? Pokemon battles. Wake up. Learn about Chinese literacy and 1 plus 1 equals 2. After more than 2 months of hard life, Chen Xiaoxiao finally had a flash of inspiration after seeing her grandmother's ditto, and borrowed it from her grandmother. Through Xiaoxiao's empathy and reasoning, and finally relying on a box of Apex Super Energy Cubes to bribe her, ditto finally agreed to go to class instead of Chen Xiaoxiao in her form. After a week of training on actions, details, habits, etc., as well as spot checks and route planning, ditto finally officially started working on a certain day. She hid on the roof of the classroom and used Psychic to observe that there was no leak and successfully skipped a day of class. The next day, after Ditto arrived safely in the classroom, Chen Xiaoxiao let herself go and came to a green park not far from the school to bully Caterpie, Rattata went. Unexpectedly, which side of the school was exposed? The reason for the exposure was that a certain math teacher asked Chen Xiaoxiao's name because no one raised his hand to answer the exercise questions. 
With Chen Xiaoxiao always getting full marks in mathematics, he must understand this question, so he clicked Chen Xiaoxiao's name, and Ditto was stunned on the spot. How could it understand? Even if you understand it, you can't speak. What to do? How to deal with Chen Xiaoxiao has never been taught. Seeing the dumbfounded look of Ditto's version of Chen Xiaoxiao, some classmates in the class laughed. Ditto, who couldn't make any effort when he was laughed at, softened and lay down on the table. It is already amazing to be able to maintain transform. This party is going to be a problem, this party is going to be a problem. Teacher thought that there was something wrong with Chen Xiaoxiao's health, and asked her what to do but didn't answer, so she was sent to the hospital in a hurry. Once the inspection is over, a farce will be exposed, what should I do? Notify the parents. That morning after school was over at 11 o'clock, Chen Xiaoxiao came to the agreed meeting place humming a ditty and waited and waited until Ditto found out that something had happened. Returning home with anxiety, Chen Xiaoxiao saw her grandma sitting on the sofa in the hall with a dark face and a beautiful chicken feather sweeper on the table, Chen Xiaoxiao knew. Come on, it can't be good now. Time flies like an arrow, the sun and the moon fly like a shuttle, and two months have passed in a blink of an eye. Location Shencheng East Lake Park, formerly Reservoir Park, the earliest comprehensive municipal park in Shencheng, with a larger area, more scenic spots and better facilities. At this time, a clear and tender female voice sounded beside the large artificial lake in the center of the park. Ralts, use confusion to control Poliwag and keep it from getting away, then Magical Leaf will take care of it. La Lu, I saw a Poliwag by the lake was about to jump back into the water, jumped into the air and was controlled by a Pokemon with blue light on his body, similar to a little humanoid Loli, with light blue hair and orange tentacles on his forehead. Then the little Loli Pokemon suddenly appeared several purple leaves and flew towards Poliwag at high speed. The effect is outstanding. Poliwag fell from the air after being hit, his eyes turned into mosquito coils, apparently losing the battle. Nice job, Ralts. The clear and tender female voice sounded again. La Lu. Ralts responded happily and prepared to run back to little Stephanie, and then his whole body glowed with light. When he reached little Stephanie's side, the light dissipated and changed from a little lowly Pokemon less than half a meter away into a close to one. M's little Stephanie-like Pokemon. Great, finally evolved, Kirlia, congratulations. Little Stephanie took a step forward and hugged Kirlia who had just evolved, rubbed its head, then compared its height and said, it's almost as tall as me. Chirrut. Kirlia immediately lowered her head, blushing. That's right, little Stephanie is Miss Chen Xiaoxiao, the protagonist in the Ditto incident. As for why I didn't listen to the teacher's advanced course of, zero multiplied by any number is zero, at school, it is because it is finally winter vacation. On the first day of the holiday, Chen Xiaoxiao couldn't wait to take her first Pokemon to level up. Check out information about me and Kirlia. Chen Xiaoxiao. Gender. Female sign. Age. 6 years old. Special ability. Intermediate psychic Pokemon language can understand what Pokemon say. Own Pokemon. Kirlia Flash Unknown Pokemon Egg. System credits. 8876. Kirlia Flash. Gender. Female sign. Level. Level 22. Elite primary. Strength increased by 2 levels due to evolution. Attribute. Psychic fairy. Personality. Conservative, special attack plus physical attack. Ability, sync, transfer own poison, paralyzed or burned contest condition to rival. Hidden ability, telepathy. Props, curved spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, champion level qualification represents the upper limit, and at the same time, those with high qualifications improve faster than those with low qualifications. Yes, as a time traveler, the protagonist also has cheats. The system followed the protagonist through time travel, and the original Ralts were obtained in the novice gift package presented by the system. This system is a pure auxiliary system, without intelligence, and will not issue tasks. The main function is to display Pokémon's strength, ability, qualifications, etc. in digital form. And turning the Pokémon owned by the protagonist into a game, you can gain experience and improve your strength through battles. There is also the function of the system mall, of which the system mall is divided into the common mall and the limited purchase mall. 
The common mall has everything from the most basic potion, energy cubes, various Pokemon carrying props to various mega stones. The limited purchase mall is some more precious things, which limit the number of exchanges, such as potions for improving qualifications, flash potions, express shares, etc. Without any lives, the starter pack is the only one, in order for the main character to get the Earl Dervish Pokemon reasonably. Items are redeemed through points, and points are obtained through Pokemon battles. Open System Store. Drug Category. Ice Heal, Paralyze Heal and the Light need 5 points, while Full Recovery Medicine needs 10 points. Classification of Props. Curved Spoons, Magnet and the Like are 3000 points each. Skill Machine. Ranging from 500, 5000. Classification of Evolution Stones. Primary Fire Stone. Primary Grass Stone and the like are uniformly worth 500 points, Intermediate 1000, Advanced 2000, and Ultimate 5000. Mega Evolution Stones, 10,000 for 1, and 5,000 points for the Master Keystone. There are relatively few things in the shopping mall, only a few items, of which. Qualification Enhancing Potion, 30,000 points, limited to 6 purchases. It can only be applied to Elite Level Qualification Pokemon, which can be upgraded to champion level qualification. Magical Flash Incubation Potion, 20,000 points, limited to one purchase, can be used on Pokemon eggs, can speed up the hatching of Pokemon eggs, and will become shiny Pokemon after hatching. Ability Modification Card, 10,000 points, limited to 20 purchases. Modify Pokemon Ability, Note, it must be the ability owned by the Pokemon group to modify. Ability Add-on Card, 10,000 points, limited to 20 purchases. Add Pokemon ability. Note, it must be the ability owned by the Pokemon group to add. Including hidden ability, two abilities already cannot be added. Double experience card, 10,000 points, limited to 20 purchases. After using it on Pokemon, the battle experience within one month will be twice the base experience. Item grid, 10,000 points, limited to 20 purchases allows Pokemon to carry one more item. Here, it is set that Pokemon can only carry one item, otherwise it would be too bad to bring it infinitely. Of course, the protagonist is different. You can carry one more item through this item. After all, it is the protagonist and has a hook. Character Modification Card, 10,000 points, limited to 20 purchases. Can be used to modify Pokemon's personality. Express. Share. 20,000 points, limited to one purchase. Same as the 6th generation, after opening Express. Share, all Pokemon in the team that have not participated in the battle will get experience points equivalent to 50% of the current experience points. The experience points obtained through Express. Share are an additional increase, not from the original split equally among experience points. Portable Pokemon Space. 100,000 points, limited to one purchase, have a Pokemon space with you, which can be used to store Pokemon. The Pokemon space is connected to the Pokeball, and Pokemon in any space can be released from the Pokeball. The size of the space is about 5 square kilometers. I have been here for more than 4 months. Because of the class, I can only use the 2 hours at noon every day to practice, otherwise Kirlia will be stronger, and now the points are less than 10,000. Looking at the data displayed by the system, Chen Xiaoxiao thought silently. The main reason is that the Pokemon in the city are too low level. For the safety of residents, the country strictly controls the strength of wild Pokemon in cities. The bug type, grass type, normal type Pokemon in places such as green belts near residential areas, Pokemon of the house bird Pidgey, etc. Pokemon normal is only level 5 to 10, and the strength of common intermediate. The wild Pokemon in the Grand Duke Gardens are mostly at level 10 to 20, with common advanced, peak, and even elite primary strength. The reason is that there are special personnel in the city who are responsible for patrolling and driving away, and those who are found to be strong will be uniformly captured and released in the park. Those who are in charge of the park's safety inspected every month and found that those who were relatively strong were uniformly captured and released outside the city. At the same time, those under the age of 16 who have obtained the formal trainer qualification are not allowed to go out into the wild alone. Because the human body has strong immunity to harm, only elite level Pokemon can cause slight damage to the human body, 
and quasi-elite level Pokemon can cause a life-threatening human body with a full blow. Not to mention elite level Pokemon, basically there are no around the city, it is estimated that only it is only found in remote mountains and wild forests. It is also because the city is full of low level Pokemon, so the residents of this world basically have Pokemon. Even orphans can easily save a Pokeball by relying on government relief funds. Captivate a Pokemon in the town. We must make good use of this holiday to improve Kirlia's strength at least to upgrade Kirlia to level 30 and evolve into Gardevoir before sneaking out of the city. After establishing the goal, Chen Xiaoxiao took Kirlia, who had just evolved, to continue the journey of spawning monsters. System Strength Segmentation Level 1 to 20 is common level. Level 21 to 40 is the elite level. Level 41 to 60 shall prevail elite level. Level 61 to 80 is elite level. Level 81 to 100 is the championship level. Level 101 and above is the legendary level. Every 20th level is a large section, and every 5th level is a small section, divided into primary, intermediate, advanced, and peak. Time came to China's major festival, which is the new year, Chen Xiaoxiao decided to take a small holiday for herself. After a month of frantic spawning and upgrading, I almost wiped all the wild monsters in Donghu Park. Kirlia has reached 60% of level 29, and there are still more than 10 days of vacation, and casual training is enough to upgrade to level 30 and evolve into Gardevoir. After the evolution, the strength will definitely soar for a while. The previous evolution into Kirlia is not very obvious, and the strength is only 2 levels. But evolving into Gardevoir is different, species strength from 278 to 518 is a huge improvement. I believe that after evolution, the level can reach level 35, or even level 36 to reach the peak strength of elites. At the age of 6, Pokemon who are at the peak of the elite at the age of nearly 7 years old can't say that their peers are invincible, but at least they are the strongest among their peers. After all, the world is so big, there is a possibility that the parents will help the breeder Pokemon just after birth. The system points also broke through the 20,000 mark reaching a high of 21,987. But Chen Xiaoxiao was not in a hurry to exchange items. The items on the mall were not needed at this stage, so they could be saved and exchanged when needed. Anyway, they would not run away. On the fourth day of the new year, when Chen Xiaoxiao was sleeping in the warm blanket hugging the lovely Kirlia, there was a knock on the door. Xiaoxiao, get up. Grandma called outside, rarely decided to take a little vacation for herself, how could she not get enough sleep? Pulled the quilt over her head with both hands, Chen Xiaoxiao decided to pretend to be dead. Kilu, Xiaoxiao woke up. Kirlia blushed seeing Chen Xiaoxiao's movements, and persuaded through telepathy. Chen Xiaoxiao, if you don't wake up, Evie will be gone. Grandma guessed that Chen Xiaoxiao wanted to sleep in, and she couldn't bear to wake her up, but today she really had something to do, so she kept knocking on the door, and at the same time used her, killer weapon. After all, during this period of time, I have seen Chen Xiaoxiao go out to train Pokemon early in the morning, although he did not make any follow-up observations or other plots. But it took Chen Xiaoxiao more than 5 months to turn Ralt's breeder into Gardevoir. It is not difficult to see that it must be very fortunate, after all, as an apex breeder, I have this vision. At the same time, it can also be seen that Chen Xiaoxiao breeder is doing very well, not squeezing the potential. She didn't find it strange either, after all, she knew that Chen Xiaoxiao's family had always been a single lineage of psychic. I also know that Chen Xiaoxiao has already awakened psychic, so it is not surprising that she has some kind of compatibility with super Pokemon and breeder talent. There are a lot of these strange abilities in this world, and no one can tell what function they have except for the ability user himself. And abilities in Pokemon have always been the trump cards of the trainers, and no one will tell others stupidly. Even the major professor experts can't study it. Modern society is relatively harmonious, and there are basically no human experiments. Even if you want to, you need to have some ability to capture the capable person. Eevee. Wait, I'll get up right away. Chen Xiaoxiao sat up abruptly and shouted at the same time. Chen Xiaoxiao has long wanted an Eevee. I went around my grandmother's breeder field a few times before, and although I found that many of them had good talents, including Pokemon with elite potential, they didn't fit her development direction. 
At the same time, I didn't see Evie, so I asked my grandmother, and I was a little disappointed when I found out that there was no Evie. But she also knows that although Evie is not very rare, it must be very rare. There may be wild animals in the wild, but they must not exist in the city. With its cute appearance and eight evolution methods corresponding to eight attributes, the 525 species strength after evolution has been widely welcomed by the second generation sons and daughters of rich families and major trainers. Some good people even published an article on the internet, on farewell to the single artifact, the ranking of the best pets for picking up girls that single dogs don't know. Among them, the Eevee family is listed as the first family of the gods for picking up girls because they have eight evolutionary forms. As soon as the article came out, it was sought after and praised by the majority of single dogs. At the same time, it indirectly caused the price of Eevee eggs in the market to soar, and it is still at a high level, even more expensive than the major series of Yusanjiya. After all, the audiences are different, no matter if they are strong or not but with an Eevee, you can easily chat with young ladies. Regardless of whether there is a result or not, being able to talk is equal to an opportunity, at least it is a good start, isn't it? Chen Xiaoxiao got up in a hurry and put on her clothes. After washing, she couldn't wait, and ran to the living room to glance around. Where's Eevee? Finally, looking at her dear grandma helplessly, she asked. Grandma said angrily, have breakfast first, and after I'm done, I'll take you to an old friend's EV breeder market in Guangdong City and you can pick one yourself. Kirlia, come and eat together. At the same time, she said to Kirlia who was following behind Chen Xiaoxiao. Chirut, here you go, grandma, good morning. Kirlia is just a polite Pokemon. Not only was Chen Xiaoxiao not disappointed when she heard that there was no one yet, but she became ecstatic when she knew that she could choose by herself. I knew before that relying on my grandma's contacts, it would be no problem to help me get an Eevee. But as an orphan in his twenties in his previous life, he is used to relying on himself. It's okay if you have it at home, but if you don't have it, how can you open your mouth and ask for so much? But if grandma took the initiative to mention it, everything would be at ease, and no matter what she said, she couldn't live up to the old man's good intentions. At the same time, I know that it is impossible for a so-called old friend to give it to grandma for free based on the relationship, and there must be some kind of interest exchange. Letting oneself choose should also mean the so-called old friends. Although the alliance prohibits the sale of Pokemon, the exchange is allowed, as long as the large-scale capture of Pokemon and the sale of Pokemon affect the ecological balance of Pokemon, the alliance will not control it. Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao is an apex breeder. If she is asked to choose, she is afraid that the other party will pick the best one. The name of the Apex Breeder family is still very bluffing. It's not good to give one directly. If you are good, you will feel a loss in your heart. If you are bad, you are afraid of turning your face. Although they can only know a rough idea of what their aptitude is, and they can't accurately determine where the real upper limit can go, but I'm afraid grandma will be able to see it. Chen Xiaoxiao, who had cleared her mind, secretly decided in her heart that not only would she not lose money, but she would also make a lot of money this time, so she must choose the one with the best qualifications. After an hour, Chen Xiaoxiao followed her grandmother to take the only, shared Pidgeot, that is allowed to fly in the city in China, the official translation is changed to Pidgeot, but I am afraid that some old Pokemon players will not know it, and the author himself is also used to Bija's name to a breeder field in the suburbs of Shenchang. This is Chen Xiaoxiao's first time flying in the air with a Pokemon, it doesn't feel too good. At the same time lamented that the Monopoly industry is cattle. For the sake of safety, miners are not allowed to ride alone. There is a special instrument on the shared video with QR code, route planning and billing functions. It can only be scanned by Pokemon Pokedex, and the order will be automatically sent to the scanner when it reaches the destination. Pokedex. Welcome, welcome, Ms. Zhang, Chen Xiaoxiao's grandmother's surname is Zhang, Happy New Year, please come in for a cup of tea, this way please. After arriving at the destination, grandma contacts the owner's house through the almighty Pokedex. Then an old man aged about 50 to 60 came out and greeted us warmly and led us into the reception room of Breeder Field. Xiaoxiao, Grandpa Yi, Lao Yi, this is my granddaughter, named Chen Xiaoxiao. 
After arriving at the living room, Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao introduced. Grandpa Yi, Happy New Year. Chen Xiaoxiao greeted me as if I was a good baby. After Chen Xiaoxiao finished greeting each other, the two old men talked nonsense for a while, and finally got to the point after bragging about each other's business. Xiaoxiao, do you like the Eevee egg to hatch by itself or the little Eevee that has already hatched? Grandpa Yi asked kindly. Chen Xiaoxiao blinked her eyes, glanced at her grandmother, and found that she didn't express anything, then said innocently, I want to see Eevee first. He didn't answer the question head on according to Grandpa Yi's rhythm. Because after answering according to his speaking rhythm, it is equivalent to making a choice. No matter whether Chen Xiaoxiao's grandmother has taught her something, if she only looks at one side after making a choice, the probability of choosing a good one will undoubtedly be much lower. In fact, he thought too much, and was bluffed by the name of an apex breeder. How could it be so easy to teach? This all requires long-term contact and observation to judge the difference. It's not necessarily accurate. After all, no matter how powerful the breeders are, they can't say they know all the Pokemon, let alone see their qualifications at a glance. So Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao didn't teach anything at all, and let Chen Xiaoxiao play freely. If she taught too much, she was afraid that it would affect her judgment. After all, she was her granddaughter, so she knew that Chen Xiaoxiao was a little bit smart. Otherwise, I wouldn't have turned into a flash Ralts outside. Actually, it was sent by the system, Chen Xiaoxiao made an excuse to meet him outside. At the same time, knowing that she is a very smart little Stephanie, otherwise she would not have thought of letting Ditto become her own skipping class. Knowing the truth, she knew that Chen Xiaoxiao was allowed to work after a week of training to let Ditto accurately mimic her own movement habits. Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao expressed that she was very stable. Zhao King, take her inside. Grandpa Yi nodded and said to the girl who was in charge of pouring tea and delivering water. Following the girl, Chen Xiaoxiao immediately became excited when she came to the breeder park inside. This is the first time I've seen a living Eevee in this world. I saw Eevee in twos and threes playing on the grass, some drinking water beside the river, some chasing each other, and some chasing Butterfree flying in the air. It's so cute, I counted more than 10 Eevee. Can I go inside? Chen Xiaoxiao asked the young lady leading the way. Yes, Eevee are very docile, as long as you don't provoke them, they won't attack people. After speaking, he opened the door on the fence and gave Chen Xiaoxiao a pack of Pokemon food, and led her in. Bui, Bui, probably because there is a young lady who is responsible for taking care of them, the Eevees are not afraid of strangers, and basically all surrounded them. Chen Xiaoxiao happily opened the Pokemon and fed them, and at the same time checked the information of the Eevees one by one through the system. Eevee. Gender. Female sign. Level. Level 5. Attribute. Normal. Personality. Timid. Speed plus physical attack. Ability. Escape during a battle with wild Pokemon. Ignore any effective rival that blocks escape, and must escape successfully. Hidden ability. Danger prediction can detect dangerous moves possessed by rival. Qualification. Elite. EV. Gender. Male sign. Level. Level 6. Attribute. Normal. Personality. Sloppy. Special attack plus special defense. Ability. Adaptability. The effect of the attribute consistent bonus is increased from the original 50% of the attack power increase to 100%. Hidden ability. Danger prediction can detect dangerous moves possessed by rival. Qualification. Quasi-elite. After checking all the Eevees around him, he found that they were basically elite level potentials, and there were only two quasi-elite level potentials. I couldn't help but secretly disappointed, and at the same time felt that I was a little greedy. In this world, 90% of Pokemon have only elite qualifications, and quasi-elite qualifications are already very good. And qualifications are not constant for Kaori. First of all, there is a certain small chance to improve through evolution. If a Pokemon that needs evolutionary stones evolves, the probability of evolution with a high-quality evolutionary stone will increase. In addition, after a long period of scientific breeder and training, it is also possible to break through the boundaries and improve. It's just that the probability of the former is impressive, using advanced, the probability of the best evolutionary stone is higher, the latter takes too long, 
maybe 5 years, 10 years, or even 20 years. Reluctantly counting the EV around him, he found that there was one less than when he started. Chen Xiaoxiao raised his head and looked around. A single EV was found under a big tree not far away, lying on the grass in rest. After checking with the system, he remained calm on the surface, but became ecstatic in his heart. EV. Gender. Female sign. Level. Level 10. Attribute. Normal. Personality. Conservative. Special attack plus physical attack. Ability. Adaptability. The effect of the attribute consistent bonus is increased from the original 50% of the attack power increase to 100%. Hidden ability. Danger prediction can detect dangerous moves possessed by rival. Qualification. Elite level. Sister Zhao King, why doesn't that Eevee come over to eat? Chen Xiaoxiao asked innocently, then turned to look at Eevee under the tree. Which Eevee usually eats very little and is not very social. When the young lady first saw Chen Xiaoxiao, she felt like a little princess from a cartoon. Under the flood of motherhood, her affection for her has already broken through the sky. Otherwise, she won't be given a pack of Pokemon food when she comes in, so that she can have a better breeder relationship with the Eevees. Now hearing her ask which reputation is not very good, Eevee, who has a dark history, couldn't help but hint a little. The corners of Chen Xiaoxiao's mouth curled up slightly after hearing this. If Zhao King could see her eyes at this time, she would find that her eyes had a slight blue light at this time, and Eevee under the tree opened her eyes and looked over as if she had sensed it. Chen Xiaoxiao has already confirmed it now, and they don't know which one has the best qualifications. Because she just deliberately turned her head not to look at Eevee, but to feel Zhao King's emotions telepathically. It was found that Zhao King conveyed only concern, but did not conceal artificial emotions. Taking out a piece of Pokemon food and returning the rest to Zhao King, Chen Xiaoxiao went to the tree and squatted in front of Eevee and handed the food to Eevee. Eevee took a look and closed his eyes again. Chen Xiaoxiao's heart skipped a beat, she put the food aside and put her hand into her pocket to pretend to take something out. The essence is to exchange a super energy system apex energy cube from the system and hand it to Eevee. Boy, Eevee opened his eyes again, took a look, then sniffed, then let out a low cry and started to eat happily. It turned out that Chen Xiaoxiao checked Eevee with the system again when he handed Pokemon food at the beginning. It was found that it has a genetic skill confusion. Combined with what Zhao King said just now that it likes rest, and that the EV around him didn't notice any abnormalities when he used psychic telepathy, but it opened his eyes as if it was in rest in the distance, and guessed that it often rests because it is too energetic. Too strong. Eating less may be because I don't like normal food. After trying it, it is indeed the case. Chen Xiaoxiao reached out her hand to touch Evie's head, seeing its vigilant eyes, she felt psychic on her hand. Evie felt a sense of comfort and didn't resist. Chen Xiaoxiao took the opportunity to hug it, stroked it with a psychic hand, and said, Evie, do you want to come with me? This kind of ability cube is available every day, and you can eat as much as you want. Shameless Chen Xiaoxiao even used food captivate, what do you think it is? Ditto. Which Evie is? Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao in the distance observed the situation here and guessed that she had already made a choice, so she asked her, old friend, Grandpa Yi beside her. Let me tell you the truth. Which Eevee is quieter and not very social? I don't know why the little Stephanie has only one Eevee. Grandpa Yi didn't hide it. After all, it's okay that there is no problem. If someone with a dark history finds something wrong after taking it away, he will definitely be able to find out the previous situation, so he has to tell the truth. At the same time sold a pass. Oh, there's still a story. Let's hear it. Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao didn't care about what he said halfway on purpose, and asked along with him. Years ago, Ice Element Elite Lang Xin brought his daughter Lang Yu over. Little Lang Yu also went in for a stroll and saw which Eevee was resting under the tree. After that, he also fell in love with which Eevee, maybe because he felt that it was more beautiful. The reason for the quietness, after all, majoring in ice, doesn't like two lively ones, so I can probably guess this. What about your granddaughter? Do you usually like quietness? Grandpa Yi continued talking halfway, and then asked again. Well, after all, the child died at such a young age. What happened later? Why is Evie still around? 
Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao said pretending to be deep, and then cleverly changed the subject. At the same time, he murmured silently in his heart, quiet fart, that doesn't look like a Stephanie in anything other than a deceptive little face, just a tomboy. After Little Langdon brought Evie out, Lengxin gave Little Langdon a top quality ice stone. When Little Langdon put the ice stone on its head, it jumped away, obviously resisting the evolution of ice. Pokemon. Little Langdon Yu was not annoyed, asked Lengxin to take a top quality water stone, intending to let it evolve into a water Pokemon. Who knew it was still unwilling, and ran back by itself. Later, there was no other way. After all, they wanted to be the main trainers, not pets. What else can Eevee do without evolution besides being cute? Cold Heart will not agree. In the end, Little Langdon picked another one and successfully evolved the ice Pokemon. Old friend, which child is obviously unwilling to evolve? If your granddaughter wants to take the path of a trainer in the future, you can think about it again. Quote. Realizing that he had said something wrong, Grandpa Yi felt compassion at the same time, and instead of continuing to show off, he kindly asked. Because there is no characteristic evolution location here, so it is changed to evolve with evolution stone, leaf Pokemon also uses leaf stone, and the others remain unchanged. At the same time, the official translation name is changed to Glaceon, Espeon, etc., and the old name is still used here, Ice Pokemon, Sun Pokemon. When Chen Xiaoxiao returned to her grandmother with the Eevee that was successfully captivated with food, her grandmother told Chen Xiaoxiao what she had just said. Chen Xiaoxiao held Eevee's righteous words and said that it doesn't matter if she keeps a pet for a lifetime, and successfully gained a wave of Eevee's favor. Grandpa Yi didn't say anything after hearing it, and Grandma knew that Chen Xiaoxiao must be a bit tricky and didn't say anything. Everyone was happy. After walking out of the, old friend, Breeder field and walking for a while, the grandmother took out the Pokedex, opened one of the software, Didi Bidiao, with the Bidiao icon, and asked, Tell me, what's the matter with the child? Quote, Grandma really has bright eyes. I really can't hide this little trick from my dear grandma. No matter what, grandma made such a good New Year's present for herself, so I'll give you a flattery first. Why, do you think I'm old? I'm still very smart. Tell me quickly. Grandma didn't have any humility at all, so she accepted everything. Yes yes yes. Well, I guess one of the parents of this Eevee is of the psychic type, because I found that it has the genetic skill confusion, and it is more sensitive to psychic, often resting may be the reason why the mental power is stronger, and at the same time it likes to eat psychic Pokemon food, I think it suits me well. Chen Xiaoxiao explained, well, as long as there's no problem, you'll be fine. Hearing Chen Xiaoxiao's analysis clearly and logically, Grandma didn't ask further. Although I am an apex breeder, I don't have much contact with Pokemon, which is known for its weirdness. No matter how powerful I am, I'm still a common person. In terms of understanding of owning psychic Pokemon, Chen Xiaoxiao who owns psychic is more authoritative than himself no matter what. Even if she is less than 7 years old. On the fifth day of the Lunar New Year, when the sun rises in the morning, Donghu Park. Chen Xiaoxiao developed a relationship with the newly acquired EV after a day yesterday, and spent 2000 points in the system mall to exchange for a soothe bell for the cute EV, and started leveling again the next day. With Kirlia, EV cleared monsters all the way to the flowers deep in the park. System, exchange for a bug type apex energy cube, and a pack of bug type common energy cubes. Handing the exchanged bug-type apex energy cube to Kirlia, Chen Xiaoxiao said, Kirlia, take it and walk around here. Kirlia. Okay, Kirlia nodded succinctly. Then, in less than five minutes, Kirlia brought a bunch of Caterpie, Butterfree, Weedle, and Beedrill over. As for why the middle fault, Metapod and Tai Kekin said they wanted to come over too, but unfortunately they couldn't move, weeping and fainting in the toilet. Old rules, whoever wins a one-on-one -on -one match will get Kirlia's to you, and loser can also share it with me. Butterfree Beedrill's rival is Kirlia, Caterpie, and Weedle vs. Eevee. Chen Xiaoxiao raised her mouth slightly, and turned her head to Kirlia at the same time. Kirlia, you are free to play. Chairu, no problem. Chen Xiaoxiao used food to lure wild monsters after captivate Ditto and Eevee with food. Is food everything? 
Chen Xiaoxiao said that the apex energy cube produced by the system is as powerful as, really fragrant, and whoever uses it will know. The wild Pokemon are obviously used to it, and they flew, climbed, out one by one in an orderly manner. You ask why you are so obedient and not beat up. Butterfree is mild-mannered and would not do such a thing. As for Beedrill, he he, there is a lesson of blood and tears that cannot be recalled. The first time Chen Xiaoxiao used food to lure monsters, he attracted a bunch of grumpy Beedrill beat up. Decisively, Teleport went around to the back and hid to kill Kirli a calm mind six times before going back. Just like cutting a melon, directly confusion won. Even Tai Kek and Weedle was not spared, and severely punished its entire family. Do you think that's all? How can it be? The vengeful Chen Xiaoxiao guarded their whole family for a whole week, or twice a day in the morning and afternoon. After a week of, friendly, exchanges, an agreement was finally reached. In the future, when Chen Xiaoxiao comes, she will practice with her Pokemon 1v1, winning or losing. The Beedrills tremble. After trying it once, they fell in love with Chen Xiaoxiao's energy cube. In contrast, the tree fruits and nectar that I ate before are simply scum. After all, even Common's energy cubes cost tens of yuan a piece on the market. Every time you go up a level, the price will increase by ten times. Only Chen Xiaoxiao, who has a lot of hooks, can do this kind of thing. So the trainer is a profession that burns money, the more powerful the trainer, the more it costs. Of course, this also represents an opportunity. The stronger the strength, the more you can go to some undeveloped places to explore. If you get a top quality evolution stone or item, you will come back with millions or tens of millions. Eevee, use quick attack to dodge Caterpie to get string shot, use confusion to solve it. Quick attack can be used for both attack and dodge, please refer to Pokemon anime for details. Boy, Eevee flashed in place and disappeared out of Caterpie's string shot range. Then countless little stars appeared behind him and flew towards Caterpie. Caterpie, who was hit by the skill, rolled back, his eyes turned into mosquito coils, and he lost the battle. This is the end, Chen Xiaoxiao said it was just abusing food. How much contest can be played against each other, it's just a matter of one or two skills. After commanding Eevee to resolve the last rival, Kirlia has already solved all the rivals, and used Heal Pulse to simply restore them to action. A bunch of bug-type Pokemon are looking at Chen Xiaoxiao eagerly. The picture should not be too beautiful. Kirlia, Eevee, and everyone are lucky, Kirlia will share the food with everyone. After thanking you once, hand Kirlia a pack of common power cubes to share with everyone. After the distribution, Chen Xiaoxiao took Kirlia, and Eevee went to a pavilion in the park to rest and turn on the system at the same time. Talent improvement potion is still 10,000 points away from redemption, and there is no rush to redeem it now. Although it is said that the strength will improve faster after being promoted to the championship qualification, but it is not slow now. At this stage, the only thing that can be exchanged for points with high cost performance is express. Share gone. Seeing that the points rose to more than 20,000 again, Chen Xiaoxiao thought silently in his heart. After confirming, the express. Share was exchanged out, and the remaining hundreds of digits were accumulated. Express. Share will be effective after being exchanged, no need to carry it on Pokemon, just throw it into the system backpack. The wild Pokemon here are all less than level 20, so I can fight on two fronts. Kirlia can completely crush the wild Pokemon here. I just need to command Eevee to cultivate a tacit understanding, and I will strive to raise Kirlia to level 30 today, evolved into Gardevoir. After resting for an hour, Chen Xiaoxiao took Kirlia and Eevee to the large artificial lake in the center of the park. Continue to use the water system Apex Energy Cube to attract Poliwag, Krabby, Slowpoke, Staryu and other water system Pokemon that can go ashore, and start the journey of abuse. Finally, after an hour of fighting, an hour of rest, and a combination of work and rest, Kirlia reached level 30 in the evening and successfully evolved into Gardevoir. Fortunately, I know that Chen Xiaoxiao moved to a relatively remote part of the park when it was about to evolve, otherwise Gardevoir's appearance would definitely attract crowds of onlookers. After all, it's the number one Pokemon in a pollster's most wanted Pokemon survey. After the second place, all are quasi-gods. Um, Gardevoir, congratulations. 
Chen Xiao Xiao originally wanted to walk over and hug her head as before, but when she saw the height, she was slightly embarrassed and said blessings. Boy, boy, Evie was also happy to circle around Gardevoir. Shanae, thank you, Xiao Xiao, thank you little Evie. The system checks Gardevoir information. Gardevoir, flash. Gender, female sign. Level, level 36, peak elite, strength increased by 6 levels due to evolution. Attribute, psychic fairy. Personality, conservative, special attack plus physical attack. Ability, sync, transfer own poison, paralyzed or burned contest condition to rival. Hidden ability, telepathy. Props, curved spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, champion level qualification represents the upper limit, and at the same time, those with high qualifications improve faster than those with low qualifications. Sure enough, after the evolution, the strength directly surpassed the elite advanced, and directly reached the peak of the elite. Ding, the unknown Pokemon egg has 30 minutes to hatch. Chen Xiaoxiao, who was checking Gardevoir's information, suddenly received a system upgrade, and said happily, Gardevoir, Eevee, come here first today, and a little partner is about to hatch, let's go home first. Does anyone remember this unknown Pokemon egg? Gardevoir, use the teleport to make your way, and be careful not to be discovered. Chen Xiaoxiao said to Gardevoir after putting Eevee into the Poke Ball. Shanae, understood, Xiao Xiao. Gardevoir put his hand behind Chen Xiaoxiao's shoulder, the screen flashed six times, and after six teleports, he returned to Chen Xiaoxiao's room. Donghu Park is about 10 kilometers away from Chen Xiaoxiao's house in a straight line. After the evolution of Gardevoir, the teleport can move two kilometers each time. Because of the need to avoid crowds, it is not a straight line teleport. Normal is to walk on the roof. After returning to the room, Chen Xiaoxiao let Eevee out, took a shower and changed clothes together. Being outside all day, after becoming a Stephanie son, I love to be clean. After checking the system countdown, the Pokemon egg was taken out of the system space in 5 minutes. One person and two Pokemon stared at the Pokemon egg eagerly. Finally, the Pokemon egg with peculiar texture shook and cracked from the middle with a click sound. A burst of white light came out from the crack, and then the white light became more and more intense. Chen Xiaoxiao thought silently, what is the lowest level of Pokemon eggs that the system has not detected? After the light dissipated, a purple Pokemon-like cotton candy appeared. Chen Xiaoxiao was stunned for a moment, and then ecstatically, blurted out in surprise. Cosmog. Deep City. Today is the day when the 6th grade graduates of primary schools across the country receive their graduation certificates. Chen Xiaoxiao also got up early in the morning to accompany her grandmother to eat a delicious breakfast made by, made, Gardevoir. Yes, six years have passed in a blink of an eye. Gardevoir was bred to be a perfect, maid. Cooking, laundry, cleaning, tidying up the house, you can do anything. Chen Xiaoxiao has also transformed from a little lowly in her early 1 meter to a girl with a height of 1.5 meters. She has a delicate face since she was a child, and now she looks even more slim, and she can attract countless eyes when she walks on the street at a young age. Grandma, I promised Leng Yu that I would visit her in the capital during the holidays. I booked a plane ticket for this morning, and I won't come back after receiving my graduation certificate. Chen Xiaoxiao said with a guilty conscience while eating. Grandma silently glanced at Chen Xiaoxiao. Well, be careful yourself. I know, don't worry, it's not like you don't know me. Chen Xiaoxiao said with a smile. It's just that I don't feel relieved. No matter what, be careful. Grandma said angrily. Okay, here I go, Sun Pokemon, Gardevoir, Advanced Pokeball. Chen Xiaoxiao simply tidied up and hurried out. After going out, take out Pokemon Pokedex and open Penguin app. Find Leng Yu in the list of friends who are less than a palm, and then type in, Yuyu, I just told my grandma that I promised you to go to the capital to find you and book a ticket for this morning. If my grandma asks you, you can just say that there is such a thing, help me, love you, okay. Not long after I sent it, Leng Yu replied with the message, Didi Didi, or the familiar message prompt tone. Where the hell are you going? Are you such a cheater? Besides, your grandma won't ask me if she wants to ask. 
She will probably ask my dad directly. How can you tell me to help you hide it? Quote. Quote dot dot dot. Forget it, I guess my grandma can guess something, so she probably won't ask. After all, Chen Xiaoxiao was an orphan in her previous life, but she didn't hide her experience from her parents. After coming here, she never stayed out at night. When Leng Yu said it, she probably didn't believe her grandma, so she replied in a self-defeating way. You're not looking for a date with your boyfriend, are you? You're not from Shenchang. It's not the internet, is it? Leng Yu pretended to have discovered some terrible secret, and asked in surprise. You just found a boyfriend. It is impossible to find a boyfriend in this life. Talk nonsense. Chen Xiaoxiao replied excitedly. He he, I get it, are you going to sneak out into the wild? The vicinity of Shencheng can't satisfy you anymore. Leng Yu looks like I know you. Chen Xiaoxiao was speechless, even Leng Yu could guess, maybe grandma had already figured it out. I guessed it right. Hey, I really envy you, a psychic. You can sneak out of the city with a teleport. The city is forbidden, and there are checkpoints outside the city. Common people like me can't get out without someone taking them. Actually the rule that you can go out of the city alone at the age of 16 is not realistic at all. It should be based on strength, we are much stronger than most 16 year olds, and they can go out but we can't. Leng Yu complained. Darling, I suggest that you ask your dad to propose changes in this year's Pokemon Alliance Standing Committee. Friends are exhausted. Chatting and chatting, Chen Xiaoxiao walked to the school, just entered the classroom and sat down. A female voice sounded, Chen Xiaoxiao. Hearing someone calling herself, Chen Xiaoxiao raised her head and found that it was the squad leader. This is one of Chen Xiaoxiao's only two friends. Among them, Leng Yu, who is talking about penguins, is the cold-hearted daughter of the ice element elite in Washa Elite 4. Two years ago, when my grandmother took me to Beijing to watch the Washa Alliance competition, I visited her home as a guest. Grandma and her grandma are classmates of the breeder family of Watching University. After being introduced, the two hit it off and became friends immediately. Later, Grandma told the story of two people who once fell in love with the same Eevee. After Leng Yu finished, she felt that she and Chen Xiaoxiao were destined, and then she proposed the Eevee battle. Chen Xiaoxiao meowed that her ice Pokemon also has elite qualifications, probably due to the evolution of the best ice stone, otherwise the probability of having two elite qualifications in one Eevee breeder field is too high. But the strength is a little lower, only elite peak level 38. Chen Xiaoxiao's son Pokemon is already at quasi-elite advanced level 52. I'm sorry to be too bullying, so I secretly telepathed and let the son Pokemon take half of the power. The two sides played vigorously. In the end, Chen Xiaoxiao made a superior move and won a difficult move. Leng Yu is not upset when she loses, showing a good family education. In addition, she is even more delighted when she finds that Chen Xiaoxiao is a little bit better than herself when she has few rivals among her peers. Immediately, the favorability rose sharply, and the favorability directly crossed from a friend to a good friend, and became a good girlfriend. After getting acquainted with her, Chen Xiaoxiao discovered that Leng Yu turned out to be a talkative mensao under her usual icy appearance. Penguin often sent messages and played videos to harass Chen Xiaoxiao, which was unbearable. Later, Chen Xiaoxiao accepted her after knowing that she also had few friends. Actually, to see how beautiful others are. As for Chen Xiaoxiao's other friend, the monitor of his class is He Xiao Wen. Three years ago, the owner of Shencheng Yuan Gymnasium retired. After the unified recruitment and selection, He Xiao Wen's father, He Yang, stood out among more than 100 people by relying on his strong strength, and was successfully selected as the new gymnasium owner. After becoming the owner of the museum, He Yang settled down in Shencheng and took his family over. At the same time, He Xiao Wen transferred the school here. Different from Leng Yu's talkative personality, He Xiao Wen is a gentle and optimistic girl. After transferring from another school, he was appointed monitor because of his excellent academic performance. In fact, Chen Xiaoxiao's grades are better, but Chen Xiaoxiao always does her own thing, always reads extracurricular books and never hand in homework at the same time in class, which makes the teacher love and hate, but the grades are always the best in the class, so I just don't care about her. 
As for how they got to know each other well, it's very simple. He Xiao Wen sat at the same table as her, and since she became the class monitor, she never asked herself to hand in homework. Although I won't hand it in if I ask, but at least it's easy, isn't it? Once you come and go, you will become familiar with each other. Sir, what instructions do you have? Chen Xiaoxiao asked with a smile on his face. Don't laugh at me, what kind of class monitor are you after you graduate? By the way, what high school did you apply for? There is no junior high school in this world, only six years of elementary school, four years of high school, and four years of university. Among them, high school is divided into liberal arts, science, and Pokemon. Shencheng Pokemon High School, do you still need to ask? Chen Xiaoxiao replied doubtfully. No, just to see if you have applied for a high school in Beijing. He Xiao Wen explained. Actually, the ones in Shencheng are not bad. After all, the four first tier cities are close to home, so I applied for Shencheng Pokemon High School. Chen Xiaoxiao replied. I also enrolled in Shencheng Pokemon High School. It seems that we will continue to be classmates. He Xiao Wen said with a smile. I need the squad leader to continue to take care of me. Boundary line. Finally, after the boring graduation ceremony, Chen Xiaoxiao came to Shencheng Airport and boarded a plane to Western Guangdong. In western Guangdong, hundreds of kilometers away from the city, in the depths of an inaccessible mountain forest, a girl looked at the nearby terrain and said to the Pokemon next to her, Gardevoir, rest here today. Shanae. After Gardevoir responded, he took out a bundle of brackets, canvas and other items from the storage bracelet on his wrist, and then transported the psychic mind-controlled objects, and saw which items seemed to be controlled by someone. Tent. Then I took out the kitchen utensils and food from the storage bracelet, and started to cook dinner. All kinds of food are automatically classified, washed, peeled and cut into sections. The name, made, is no joke. As early as Gardevoir had just evolved, Chen Xiaoxiao trained Gardevoir in the direction of a maid under the pretext of training Psychic's meticulous control. However, Gardevoir still enjoys taking care of Chen Xiaoxiao very much. Only then did a generation of super, maids, be born. Looking at Gardevoir's skillful movements, Chen Xiaoxiao felt a sense of pride spontaneously. Release all other Pokemon from the Pokeball. After telling them not to run around, Chen Xiaoxiao sat in front of the tent, took out an old notebook from the system backpack, and slowly read it. This is a note handed down by Chen Xiaoxiao's ancestors, which records some experience and secrets. Among them are the records of the agreements and residences reached by Chen Xiaoxiao's ancestors with certain precious superpower Pokemon groups, which is the foundation of their Chen family's lineage. Chen Xiaoxiao and his family have been single pass psychic people for generations, and they have a certain fit for the superpower Pokemon, so they can better breeder and exert the strength of the superpower system. Advanced superpowers can even infuse their own spiritual power into superpower Pokemon through spiritual connection to improve Pokemon's strength for a short time, so they have been specializing in superpowers for generations. But because the superpower Pokemon has some bug abilities such as telepathy, teleport, danger prediction and so on. So the chances of some precious psychic Pokemon being caught in the wild are very low, let alone making a team. Of course Psyduck, Slowpoke and other sub-attribute superpowers are still very common. For the better development of future generations, Chen Xiaoxiao's ancestors who once served as the king of Washa Tian found several powerful superpower groups through their strong strength and some clues in the national documents. Through a show of strength and friendly negotiations, an agreement was finally reached. The content of the agreement is that every time a Pokemon is taken away from the group, if you want to take another Pokemon away next time, you must bring the original Pokemon back to test your strength. Prove that there is a good breeder before they can take the next one. At the same time, they promised that they would return to the group when they were old, and improve the strength of their group to prevent them from being spied on. The agreement was considered to be mutually beneficial. So since the ancestors of each generation, the Chen family has taken the Pokemon that their parents asked for them back to the corresponding ethnic group to accept the test when they have descendants and reach a certain age. The method of bringing back the Earl Dervish Pokemon or the second Pokemon to form the basic team for his descendants has been passed down. 
As a result, Chen Xiaoxiao's father's generation died unexpectedly before he could get a Pokemon for Chen Xiaoxiao. Chen Xiaoxiao's grandparents also passed away early, so the inheritance was broken. The goal of Chen Xiaoxiao's trip to Western Guangdong is one of the powerful ethnic groups. Originally, I planned to come back after I reached a certain level of strength as an adult, because I don't know if the agreement is still valid. All of his father's Pokemon are dead, and he can't bring them back. At the same time, he is not sure whether he will be frustrated because the Pokemon delivered to his cheap father died. But now look at White's huge lion-shaped Pokemon lying on the ground. Chen Xiaoxiao expressed that she was not panicking at all, she was very stable. The big deal is to convince them with, reason. Today is already the fifth day. According to the route, we will be able to reach the river marked on the map tomorrow. After crossing the river, we will be our destination this time. Chen Xiaoxiao looked at the hand-drawn map in the notebook and thought silently. Shanae, Xiao Xiao, it's time for dinner. Gardevoir called out to Chen Xiao Xiao while bringing the prepared dinner to the table. Okay, here we come. Boundary line. After a night of rest, Chen Xiao Xiao set off again early the next morning, and after more than two hours' journey, he finally passed through this mountain forest with an area of hundreds of square kilometers. The field of vision gradually widened, and the sound of rolling river water came from my ears. Chen Xiaoxiao took out the Pokedex and turned it on, and found that the signal was gone. Then she took out the compass, and saw that the pointer kept shaking from side to side. Apparently a strong magnetic field nearby interrupted the signal in the direction of the compass. After walking for tens of meters, we came to a cliff, which was as high as 100 meters away from the river. On the opposite side is an island surrounded by rivers, with towering mountains and rivers spanning about 5 to 6 kilometers. Because there are cliffs on both sides, it is obviously impossible to cross the river by water system. Not to mention that this place is hundreds of meters high from the river, even if you can safely descend to the river and reach the opposite side, you can't climb the cliff. As for using the flying system, looking at Firo and Staraptor flying across the sky is obviously not easy to mess with. Once flying is intercepted in the process of crossing the river, it will be dangerous. What's more important is that Chen Xiaoxiao doesn't have the water system, and the flying system doesn't even have it. Is this the wrong way to go? Gardevoir, teleport to the opposite side. Shanae, received. Yes, it might be hard for others. But for Chen Xiaoxiao, it couldn't be easier, otherwise she wouldn't have chosen this path, for her it was the closest one. After successfully reaching the opposite side, Chen Xiaoxiao's eyes glowed with blue light. And after sensing the direction, she took Gardevoir to teleport to a place with a strong magnetic field. Then I saw Blue, a Pokemon with a disc shaped body, two arms, and huge iron claws on it. It turned out to be a quasi god Metig. Matang yelled at Chen Xiaoxiao when he sensed someone approaching. After seeing the person in Gardevoir next to her clearly, she might feel Gardevoir's strength, so she didn't do anything. Instead, he shouted again. Humans, outsiders are not welcome here, leave immediately, Metig is very smart. It knows that Gardevoir has telepathy and knows that what it says will be translated to its owner. But Gardevoir didn't have a translator, and Chen Xiaoxiao didn't need a translator, she could understand what Pokemon said by herself, and she didn't come to make trouble, at least not yet. My surname is Chen, and I'm here to see your leader. Chen Xiaoxiao said to Metang, and at the same time took out a piece of metal with special magnetism, blue light flashed in his eyes, and used psychic mind control to control the metal with special magnetism to float towards Metang. Metang took the piece of metal and looked at it and understood something, so he returned the special metal to Chen Xiaoxiao and asked Chen Xiaoxiao to follow. After following Metang, Chen Xiaoxiao also met other Metangs along the way. After checking with the system, they all had elite qualifications. Quasi God equals elite Pokemon is the consensus of everyone in this world. Of course, except for birth defects. At the same time, I also saw caves on the nearby mountains along the way. I heard that Metagross likes to live in caves. I don't know if there is a Metagross living in any caves. Unfortunately, none of them came out, otherwise I can use the system to check their strength. You wait here. After coming to a square and leading the way, Metig said to Chen Xiaoxiao, and then walked towards the huge cave on the mountain ahead. 
About 10 minutes later, a Metagross flew in front of Chen Xiaoxiao from the cave. How come there is only one little Stephanie, your parents? Metagross asked suspiciously. Chen Xiaoxiao's heart tightened, and at the same time, he checked the strength of Metagross. Metagross. Gender. No gender. Level. Level 88 Championship Intermediate. Attribute. Steel Psychic. Personality. Impatient. Speed plus physical defense. Ability. Constant and pure body. Under normal circumstances, stat modifiers will not be reduced by the moves and abilities of the opponent and companions. Hidden Ability. Light metal. Self weight becomes half of normal. Qualification. Champion. My father passed away unexpectedly seven years ago, and I hope the agreement can continue. After confirming the strength of Metagross, Chen Xiaoxiao breathed a sigh of relief. Since you didn't fulfill your original promise to take good care of our family Pokemon, the agreement will be over, you can go, because of the original love, I will not make it difficult for you. Legendary Metagross has four brains, which form a complex neural network, and have computing power that surpasses that of a mega computer. Even though Chen Xiaoxiao didn't say how her family Pokemon is, she knew it since she didn't bring it with her. I am willing to take the test, like my ancestors, to start the agreement anew from me. With confidence, Chen Xiaoxiao said stubbornly. Accept the test. Your Gardevoir is good, but not far off. Metagross scoffed after glancing at Gardevoir. Gardevoir's face darkened, if he didn't know what he was telling the truth, he would have given him a moonblast a long time ago. You can't tell the truth like that. Chen Xiaoxiao noticed Gardevoir's strangeness, and immediately comforted Gardevoir, and at the same time, used teleport to bring Gardevoir, and distanced himself from Metagross. Chen Xiaoxiao didn't argue. He knew the truth was not based on words, but on strength. Silently took off the pokey ball that was shrunk and hung on the necklace around the neck, tapped a button, and the small pokey ball quickly returned to its normal size, and threw it forward. Come out. Solgaleo. Metagross became interested after seeing Chen Xiaoxiao release a white lion-shaped Pokemon that had never been seen before from the Pokeball and was stronger than Gardevoir. But after feeling the strength, he still said, the strength is still not enough. Solgaleo. Gender. No gender. Level. Level 76. Elite Peak. Attribute. Steel Psychic. Character. Brave. Physical Attack plus Speed. Ability. Brain core power, the power of the moves with excellent effects is increased by 25%. Hidden ability, prism armor, excellent moves deal 25% less damage. Props, curved spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Metal coat, after carrying it, the power of using steel type skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, legendary level. Of course Chen Xiaoxiao knew, but since he dared to be reckless, of course he still had a whole card. Note. Solgaleo's ability, Brain Core Power, Prism Armor is modified through the Ability Modification card and Ability Add card. Among them, the Brain Core Power is the ability of Ultimate Necrozma, and the Prism Armor is the ability of Necrozma's Twilight Mane. The level is upgraded through the exchange of double experience cards through the system. Solgaleo, Spiritual Connection. Chen Xiaoxiao's whole body glowed with blue light, injecting his own spirit into Solgaleo, and then Solgaleo's strength soared rapidly. Solgaleo. Gender. No gender. Level. Level 76 Peak Elite, Level 86 Champion Intermediate. Attribute. Steel Psychic. Character. Brave. Physical Attack plus Speed. Ability. Brain Core Power. The power of the moves with excellent effects is increased by 25%. Prismatic Armor, excellent moves deal 25% less damage. Props, Curved Spoon, after carrying it, the power of Super Attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Metal Coat, after carrying it, the power of using Steel Type skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, Legendary Level, Solgaleo, use Sunny Day. Although Solgaleo has also reached the Championship Intermediate after pouring his mental power, there is still a gap of two levels, so Chen Xiaoxiao can only give orders first in desperation to create a favorable environment for himself. Solgaleo yelled at soaring in the sky, and saw that there seemed to be an extra round of sun in the midair on the mountain square. Normal, with Solgaleo as the center, the sun rose rapidly within one kilometer of Fangyuan. 
After all, Metagross is a champion level Pokemon. Seeing this, he immediately used confusion to interrupt Solgaleo's sunny day, and this is also the reason why Metagross lacked control over the information. Chen Xiaoxiao allowed Solgaleo to resist a confusion attack from Metagross through the spiritual connection, and successfully released Sunny Day. And because Solgaleo has Steel, Super Attribute, 4 times resistance to Super Energy attacks, even if he forcibly resisted a confusion, he didn't get hurt. After discovering that confusion not only failed to interrupt the lion-shaped unknown Pokemon's skills, but also did not cause any damage, Metagross, who had four brains and a stronger computing power than the Mega Computer, knew that Rival had super resistance. Immediately, he used agility to quickly approach Solgaleo and at the same time used the Steel-type Meteor Mash, and saw a Fist Shadow appear on Metagross' sharp claws, and there were little stars around the Fist Shadow, which was very contest. Solgaleo, teleport to get behind Metagross while using Flare Blitz. Solgaleo disappeared in front of Metagross in a flash and came behind Metagross. At the same time, Solgaleo's whole body was full of flames and rushed towards Metagross' back. Metagross realized the danger when he saw Rival disappear and a burning sensation came from behind. It made the right judgment as it was releasing its skills and had no time to dodge. I saw that Metagross quickly smashed the Meteor Mash to the ground and the counter shock force of assist splashed upwards, and at the same time, the dust raised by assist covered his exact position. How can Chen Xiaoxiao make it come true? Because of the spiritual connection, Chen Xiaoxiao and Solgaleo almost share the vision. Solgaleo may not be able to see clearly behind Metagross, but Chen Xiaoxiao in front of Metagross can't see clearly. Solgaleo's skill ramps up by 45%. Slow, fast, Solgaleo's flare blitz hits Metagross directly. Because the skill hits the back and cannot be blocked, the effect is not only outstanding, but also hits the vital point. It's a pity that it didn't cause the burning effect, otherwise the battle would basically be over. Solgaleo uses Fire Blast, then Morning Sun. Chen Xiaoxiao asked Solgaleo to use Fire Blast just because the attack range of Assist Fire Blast is wide enough to block Metagross and create opportunities for the next Morning Sun. After all, while the Flare Blitz just now caused huge damage to Metagross, Solgaleo also suffered minor injuries due to the backlash of the Flare Blitz. Sure enough, Metagross was worthy of being a champion player. Even though he had just suffered a huge injury, he didn't panic. After roaring, he turned around and smashed the Fire Blast with an arm hammer, but he still suffered some damage. After hammering Fire Blast apart, Metagross used Earthquake on Ground Bulldoze with the other arm. Solgaleo, we also use Earthquake. With the Fire Blast cover in front, Morning Sun behind Solgaleo has a perfect release without any blocking. And because of the bonus of Sunny Day, his physical strength has been fully restored. Seeing that Metagross was using Earthquake, Chen Xiaoxiao also felt complacent, and instead of letting Solgaleo use Psychic to float, he issued an order to use Earthquake. Solgaleo roared the same at Ground Bulldoze. Suddenly, a huge earthquake occurred on the ground centered on Metagross and Solgaleo, and then the power of the two huge earthquakes doubled between the two sides. Boom. After the bang, both sides suffered some injuries due to the force of the countershock. Shanae. It's too messy, Xiao Xiao. At the same time, Gardevoir on the other side complained and quickly came to Chen Xiao Xiao and used Protect to resist the aftermath of the two earthquakes. Fortunately, it was only the aftermath. Otherwise, the champion earthquake is not something that only elite primaries Gardevoir can withstand. Solgaleo uses flamethrower. A searing flame burst from Solgaleo's mouth towards Metagross. With nowhere to dodge, Metagross could only use protect to block the flames. At the same time, he seized the neutral position of the flame spray, and used the bull punch, which did not deal much damage but was better in speed, and countless fist shadows flew towards Solgaleo. This is the time when Solgaleo's new power has not been regenerated, and the old power is gone, and he has no power to dodge and issue skills to offset. Chen Xiaoxiao had no choice but to let Solgaleo resist. Fortunately, the steel skill Solgaleo also has twice the resistance, and the damage he suffered was minimal. At the same time, Chen Xiaoxiao secretly instructed Solgaleo's stockpile to wait for the opportunity. I saw Solgaleo with his legs bent and his center of gravity backward, as if he had suffered a lot of damage from being hit by the bullet punch in the front. 
Metagross immediately took advantage of the victory and quickly approached Solgaleo while Stockpile raised his forearm to use his arm hammer ability to hit Solgaleo hard. Here's your chance. Solgaleo, Flare Blitz. In front of Solgaleo, under Chen Xiaoxiao's order, he secretly stockpile, with his legs bent, and his center of gravity turned backwards was not caused by the bullet punch impact, but just to confuse rival's starting posture following the impact force. I saw Solgaleo's body quickly burst into scorching flames, and then he charged towards Metagross arm hammer. Boom. Solgaleo, use fire blast on the remaining flames around you. Chen Xiaoxiao seized the opportunity that the two sides were rushed back by the explosive air waves generated by the skill confrontation and quickly issued an order. I saw that the flames in the field that had not yet dissipated recondensed into a large character and quickly rushed towards Metagross, who was rushed into the air by the explosion wave and could not take advantage of it. Boom. The effect is outstanding. Metagross, who was hit again, finally fell down. His eyes were like mosquito coils, and he lost his fighting power. The number of dings sounded in her mind, and Chen Xiaoxiao knew that defeating the champion Pokemon had gained a lot of experience, her Pokemon level had been improved, and she quickly opened the system. Solgaleo. Gender. No gender. Level. Level 76 up pointing arrow 77, elite peak. Attribute. Steel Psychic. Character. Brave. Physical attack plus speed. Ability. Brain core power, the power of the moves with excellent effects is increased by 25%. Hidden ability, prism armor, excellent moves deal 25% less damage. Props, curved spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Metal coat, after carrying it, the power of using steel type skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, legendary level, Gardevoir, gender, female sign. Level, 65 up pointing arrow 67, elite intermediate. Attribute, psychic fairy. Personality, conservative, special attack plus physical attack. Ability, sink, transfer own poison, paralyzed or burned contest condition to rival. Hidden ability, telepathy. Props, curved spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification. Champion level qualification represents the upper limit, and at the same time, those with high qualifications improve faster than those with low qualifications. Sun Pokemon. Gender. Female sign. Level. 59 up pointing arrow 62 elite primary. Attribute. Psychic. Personality. Conservative. Special attack plus physical attack. Ability. Adaptability, the effect of the attribute consistent bonus is increased from the original 50% of the attack power increase to 100%. Hidden ability, magic mirror, continuously in the magic coat contest condition when you are on the field, invalidate some of the opponent's changing moves that target you, and bounce back to the user of the move. Props, curved spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, champion. Well done, Solgaleo. Chen Xiaoxiao jumped up happily, and ran to Solgaleo and said. Solgaleo lowered his head and squinted his eyes happily rubbing against Chen Xiaoxiao. We. From the whole battle, it seems that Metagross is completely crushed, but in fact the victory lies in the difference of information, and the difference between Pokemon with trainers and wild Pokemon. Metagross doesn't know Solgaleo at all, but Chen Xiaoxiao knows Metagross well, using restraint skills to restrain rival. At the same time, Solgaleo, who has a trainer, has a wealth of skill reserves, and because Metagross is a wild Pokemon, except for certain skills that must be comprehended, there are few other comprehensions, and he lacks countermeasures. Gardevoir, use Heal Pulse on Metagross. The evolved ability of Sun Pokemon was originally synchronous, and the protagonist modified it to Eevee's adaptability through the ability modification card. After Gardevoir's heal pulse, the leader of Metagross wakes up faintly. At the same time, Chen Xiaoxiao looked around, because the loud noise from the battle just now attracted the nearby Metagross group. After counting, there are actually nine Metagross, among which there are three champions. The most powerful one doesn't know if the leader of the previous generation actually reached level 95, just short of reaching the peak strength of the champion. Sure enough, you can't underestimate them. 
After all, a bunch of quasi-gods live here, and it's not without reason that they haven't been disturbed. Fortunately, it was a one-on-one -on -one battle just now. Otherwise, if you beat up the leader of Metagross, it will probably anger other people. Metagross joins the fray. Chen Xiaoxiao secretly thought. Young man, your strength is very strong. You can take away a child who is willing to go with you here. Of course, with the strength you just showed, I believe they will be happy to leave with you. The leader of Metagross said to Chen Xiaoxiao after waking up. Is there any unhatched Pokemon eggs? I hope I can take one of your family's Pokemon eggs. The light blue Metagross is really not in line with my own aesthetics. Chen Xiaoxiao said after thinking about it. Steven's favorite in the previous life was White's Flash Metagross, and the system store just happened to have a Flash potion that can be used on Metagross Pokemon eggs to obtain Flash Beldum. Moreover, Chen Xiaoxiao has learned from the family's notes that the Metagross in this world can evolve directly, and there is no need for fusion of the two. It doesn't matter even if you don't have champion qualification, as long as you meet the standard of elite qualification, and after hatching, you can exchange qualification improvement potion from the system mall. Beldum, who was attracted by excitement and eager to try, Matang scattered back in disappointment. Want an unhatched child? Yes, come with me. Following the leader of the Metagross into a cave, to the depths of the mountainside, there are actually several Metagross guarding the way. It turns out that the ones just now are not all. In total, there are more than 10 Metagrosses. It is estimated that several of them are old buddies of my grandparents. Chen Xiaoxiao was secretly surprised and guessed at the same time. There are not many unhatched children, you can take one of them away. Coming to the platform where Pokemon eggs are stored in the mountainside, the leader of Metagross said to Chen Xiaoxiao. Seeing four Pokemon eggs placed on the platform, Chen Xiaoxiao immediately checked with the system. Pokemon egg, Beldum. Gender. No gender. Personality. Mischievous defense plus special attack. Ability. Constant and pure body under normal circumstances. Stat modifiers will not be reduced by the moves and abilities of the opponent and companions. Hidden ability. Light metal. Self weight becomes half of normal. Qualification. Elite. Pokemon egg. Beldum. Gender. No gender. Personality. Stubborn. Attack plus special attack. Ability. Constant and pure body under normal circumstances, stat modifiers will not be reduced by the moves and abilities of the opponent and companions. Hidden ability, light metal, self weight becomes half of normal. Qualification, elite, Pokemon egg, Beldum, gender, no gender. Personality, serious, no change. Ability, constant and pure body under normal circumstances stat modifiers will not be reduced by the moves and abilities of the opponent and companions hidden ability light metal self weight becomes half of normal qualification champion pokemon egg beldum gender no gender personality naive speed plus special defense ability constant and pure body under normal circumstances stat modifiers will not be reduced by the moves and abilities of the opponent and companions hidden ability light metal self weight becomes half of normal qualification elite stubborn personality is good if they are all elite qualification pokemon eggs then i will choose it but under the premise of champion qualification it is necessary to choose the best after all you can save a lot of points that's it, I will definitely cultivate it well, please rest assured. Chen Xiaoxiao stepped forward and hugged the Pokemon egg with championship qualifications, and said to the leader of Metagross. I believe in you, I can see that you and your partner have a deep bond, and at the same time are very strong, you are much stronger than your predecessors, it is an honor for this child to follow you, I believe you will not be buried its, I look forward to its growth next time you come here. Well, you can leave. After coming out of the island where the Metagross lives, Chen Xiaoxiao returned to the forest where she rested last time, released her Pokemon to let them move around, but don't run away, then hugged the Beldum Pokemon egg in her arms and turned on the system. Chen Xiaoxiao. Gender. Female sign. Age. 12 years old. Special ability. Advanced psychic Pokemon language can understand what Pokemon say. Own Pokemon. Solgaleo level 77 peak of elite. Gardevoir level 67, Elite Intermediate. Sun Pokemon level 62, Elite Primary. 
Beldum Pokemon Egg Level 0 No Strength. System Points 23,429. Originally only a little over 20,000 points, because of defeating the championship Metagross, it has increased by more than 3,000 points. Sure enough, the only way to leapfrog monsters is the kingly way, but unfortunately there are not many opportunities for this. Even in the inaccessible deep mountains and wild forests in western Guangdong, the average strength is only at the elite level, and defeating one is only a few tens of points, which can only be said to be better than nothing. Open the system purchase limit mall and exchange it for the magic flash incubation potion that can only be purchased once and sells for 20,000 points. The potion is only about 100 milliliters, open the bottle cap according to the system instructions, and pour the potion on the pregnant Beldum Pokemon egg. The potion didn't slide down the shell of the Pokemon egg, the Pokemon egg absorbed the potion like a sponge. Then the Pokemon egg shook and cracked from the middle with a click, like the last time Cosmog was hatched. A burst of white light came out from the crack, and then the white light became more and more intense. When the white light shrank, it finally revealed a whole body white Pokemon with a long torso, a huge claw on the buttocks, and an almost round head. Beldum, Flash, Gender, No Gender, Level, Level 5, Common Primary, Personality, Serious, No Change, Ability, Constant and Pure Body, Under Normal Circumstances, Stat Modifiers will not be reduced by the moves and abilities of the opponent and companions. Hidden Ability, Light metal, self weight becomes half of normal. Qualification, champion, it's so heavy, Beldum, please teach me more in the future. Even with the light metal ability, the newly hatched Beldum weighs nearly 4-0 kg, and Chen Xiaoxiao can barely hold it without using confusion. Everyone, this is Gardevoir, this is the sun Pokemon, this big guy is Solgaleo, and this is the new companion Beldum. As early as when the Pokemon eggs were hatching, everyone was attracted, Chen Xiaoxiao introduced. Boy, welcome. The sun Pokemon reaches out its front paws to touch its head. Leo, welcome. Seeing Espeon's movements, Solgaleo wanted to stretch out his front paws to touch Beldum's head, but his front paws were too big, so he gave a low growl from the side to show his welcome. Shanae, welcome. Here to give you something to eat. Gardevoir took out the energy cube that Chen Xiaoxiao exchanged from the system and put it there from the storage bracelet, and handed it to Beldum. Beldum ate happily. I don't know if Beldum has a mouth to eat, and it's not introduced in the encyclopedia, so let's take it for granted. We, seeing everyone's harmonious and happy appearance, Chen Xiaoxiao laughed happily. In western Guangdong province, a mountain is different from other high mountains covered with verdant plants and dense trees. The whole body is grayish-yellow, as if it is composed of huge rocks. On the rock mountain group, a female voice sounded. Matang, use metal claw to solve rival. A meta with a white background color, a saucer-shaped body, and two arms, with huge iron claws on it, raises the huge claws towards the front. A gray-skinned, stone-shaped metag has a pair of short legs, two pairs of arms, the uneven Pokemon Graveler attacked and went away. Graveler who was hit by Metal Claw, did not fall. After yelling, a huge amount of energy surged in his body. It turned out to be self-destruct with the attitude of pulling Rival back before losing combat effectiveness. Gardevoir. Chen Xiaoxiao's face darkened, and at the same time she quickly called out to Gardevoir who was beside her helplessly, and teleport retreated several hundred meters. Shanae. Even if Chen Xiaoxiao didn't give clear instructions, Gardevoir knew what Chen Xiaoxiao meant, and immediately teleported to Meditang and used Protect to resist Graveler's self-destruct. Boom! An explosion sounded, raising billowing dust, and a few seconds after the explosion, Gardevoir returned to Chen Xiaoxiao with Metig. From Graveler's self-destruct, to Chen Xiaoxiao teleporting back, Gardevoir teleporting to Protect in front of Metig, and then Gardevoir teleporting back with Metang, the whole process was as smooth as flowing clouds, as if he had rehearsed the operation of normal. Looking at Chen Xiaoxiao's twitching expression, it was obviously not the first time. It has now been more than a month since Beldum hatched. With Express, share in the double experience card that can be redeemed in the system store after collecting 10,000 points, Beldum has evolved into Metig. It is unprecedented to train a newly hatched quasi-god to evolve in more than a month. I'm afraid the Pokemon Alliance will be shocked a few times if I say it. 
Of course, Chen Xiaoxiao won't be so stupid. Even to my grandmother, I just said that I got a Meditang when I went to the Metagross settlement. Yes, Chen Xiaoxiao contacted her grandma when Beldam evolved to Meditang, and confessed her whereabouts, and told her that she had conquered a Metagross in the settlement of Metagross. Grandma didn't say anything, she just told her to be careful outside. Even knowing that Chen Xiaoxiao's Pokemon is good, but as an elder, I still worry. Chen Xiaoxiao was an orphan in her previous life, and only felt family affection in this life. Naturally, she would not worry her grandma, and would take the initiative to contact her once every other week to report her safety. Metatang, Flash, Gender, No Gender, Level, Level 38 Peak Elite, Attribute, Steel Psychic, Personality, Serious No Change, Ability, Constant and pure body under normal circumstances, stat modifiers will not be reduced by the moves and abilities of the opponent and companions. Hidden ability, light metal, self-weight becomes half of normal. Qualification, champion, drip, drop, drop. It's still the familiar penguin message notification tone. Take out the almighty Pokemon Pokedex, open the software whose icon is Piplup, no need to guess, it must belong to Leng Yu, Chen Xiaoxiao knows that Grandma Normal will not take the initiative to contact her. Xiaoxiao, where are you? Didn't you say you wanted to come to the capital to play with me? Why haven't you come? I've been waiting for you for over a month. Quote dot dot dot. I'm near Guixi in western Guangdong. Chen Xiaoxiao's face darkened. Is there anyone like you who releases pigeons? It's been more than a month, and the pigeons should fly back. Leng Yu continued to talk to Torment. Speak English. Chen Xiaoxiao replied concisely. Okay, I'm so bored, I'm here to play in the capital, this holiday I basically stay at home, only Pokemon accompany me, I'm almost becoming a Pokemon. Seeing Chen Xiaoxiao saying that, Leng Yu had no choice but to pretend to be pitiful. My dear, if you become a Pokemon, I will definitely reward you with a luxury ball, so that you can continue to stay in it and be a young lady. Chen Xiaoxiao replied with a dark belly. Come or not, come or not, come or not. Cold moon torment again. Okay, I'll go there tomorrow. Chen Xiaoxiao thought about it, Meditang's double experience card expired yesterday. At the same time, I have been staying in this barren mountain for more than a month, and I feel that I am about to return to Primal. It is good to go to the capital to relax and give myself a vacation. So he agreed. Less than a minute after Chen Xiaoxiao agreed, Leng Yu sent Chen Xiaoxiao a QR code and said, The air ticket from Guixi in western Guangdong to the capital has been booked for you. You can scan it with Pokedex for the air ticket at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. After binding, you can board the plane through Pokedex, tomorrow I will pick you up at Beijing airport, don't thank me, please call me Lei Feng. I am the dividing line of the cold moon. Beijing airport. Xiaoxiao, this way. Before entering the airport hall, Chen Xiaoxiao was walking down the boarding ladder and at the back of the crowd when she heard Leng Yu's voice. Who's here to pick someone up? He was able to drive the car into the runway. A girl in front said strangely to the boy beside her. The boy next to her tugged at her and said, Don't talk about it, it's not an elite car. Look at the elite word at the end of the license plate. Only elite force car in China has the elite word. Ah, elite. The girl said in surprise. Quote dot dot dot. Do you want to be so high profile, privileged class? Chen Xiaoxiao complained silently in her heart. At the same time, I checked that no one noticed me except Leng Yu and the driver, so I teleported directly to the car next to Leng Yu. What a convenient ability. Seeing Chen Xiaoxiao disappearing, she looked into the car and found that Chen Xiaoxiao had already sat down in the car. Leng Yu opened the door and sat back in the car, sighing at the same time. Where is Miss? The driver obviously has seen the world. After all, in the Pokemon world, it is not enough to be able to drive. At least he has the ability to deal with normal problems and emergencies, otherwise it would be too cheap to ask Elite to take care of everything, and at the same time, he must also serve as a bodyguard when picking up Elite's family members. Seeing Chen Xiaoxiao appearing in the car, he guessed that she was a psychic, but the shock in his heart could be seen from his constricted pupils. The space inside the car is so small, it is not easy to teleport into the car and sit in it accurately. Without the precise control and confidence of psychic, I dare not do it. 
A slight mistake and getting stuck on the door will be fatal. Xiao Xiao, where do you want to go? Go shopping, okay. Leng Yu asked. Well, I just wanted to get some power machines for my Pokemon anyway. Chen Xiao Xiao agreed. Although there is this system that can be exchanged, the points are not enough at this stage. For example, the exchange of the Protect Skill Machine system requires 1000 points, and it only costs 300,000 points if you buy it in the market. Chen Xiao Xiao has been reluctant to exchange it to Medang, otherwise Graveler's self-destruct would not need Gardevoir's help to block it. Uncle Li, drive us to Qianda Plaza. Xiao Xiao tell me about your wonderful experience this holiday, have you conquered the new Pokemon? And what skill machine do you want to buy? After reporting a destination to Driver Li Uncle, Leng Yu couldn't wait to ask about Chen Xiao Xiao's situation. The driver, Uncle Li, raised the baffle at the back of the cab when he knew the destination. He was obviously a seasoned, veteran driver, who knew how to abide by his duty and should not listen or not. Even the whispers of little girls are the same. I've been training Pokemon in Western Guangdong. I don't have any wonderful stories. I just took in a new medig and planned to equip it with a protect skill. When I was fighting Graveler in Western Guangdong, I was always annoyed by self-destruct. Chen Xiaoxiao briefly talked about his recent situation. What? There is Metagross. It turns out that the Metagross clan inherited by your family is in western Guangdong. But why did you go there without telling grandma? Is it dangerous? And what about Alakazam? Where's the sucker puppet? Officially translated as Mr. Mime still uses the old name of Breathing Disc Golem here. Leng Yu asked in surprise. Quote dot dot dot. Xiao Nizi, don't you know that no one will like a woman who is too smart? Chen Xiaoxiao didn't expect her few words to be analyzed clearly by Leng Yu. Anne, Anne, I won't tell. Apart from not knowing where your inherited family land is, it's been an open secret for a long time, just like you know our family. Leng Yu explained. Yes, just like Chen Xiaoxiao knew that Leng Yu's family inherited Lapras, the official translation of Lapras is still called Lapras here, being Ninetales. Basically, Chen Xiaoxiao, a family that has been passed down for a long time in China, also got some understanding from his own family's books, knowing that they are related to certain Pokemon groups. Similarly, other families will also know something about Chen Xiaoxiao's family. After all, it has been passed down for dozens of generations. Among them, there have been two elites, single past superpowers, and each generation of Pokemon has Metagross, Alakazam, and Sucker Golem. Ugly refusal. By the way, didn't you always want a super power Pokemon that can learn teleport? I lack a water type Pokemon, and I am very interested in your Lapras. I can bring back an Abra to exchange with you. Of course, only you, no one else. After Chen Xiaoxiao figured it out, she succinctly answered Leng Yu's last question and proposed an exchange. Ha ha ha. Sure enough, dozens of generations of your family are single pass males. Before you were born, the whole of China probably knew that your family thought that your family's genes could only produce boys. You are indeed a freak who even inherited Pokemon in your family. It's all too ugly. Ha ha ha. Leng Yu hurt Chen Xiaoxiao with a laugh as if she had discovered something. Quote dot 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 exclamation mark quote. Chen Xiaoxiao's face darkened. Ha ha, okay okay, just kidding. I don't think you're ugly, do I? I don't want to be said to have my grandpa with me. If you are willing to exchange with other people in my family, I believe my dad will agree. Even my dad is very interested in the superpower Pokemon that can teleport, after all, it can even save lives at critical times. Do you want to think about it? Leng Yu suggested. It is set here that teleport cannot be learned through learning machine, only Pokemon can understand it. After all, this is not a game. Teleport in the game can only be used for escape and returning to the city. It is not very useful except for the convenience of returning to the city. But if it is used in reality, teleport is too buggy. It can be said that it can be used to travel at home, save your life, kill and set fires. Therefore, on the premise that you can't learn through learning machines, if you don't count you demons, you can only learn teleport by yourself. 4. The Gardevoir family, the Alakazam family, the Zadu family, and the Claydal. Forget it, I'll just talk casually. Chen Xiaoxiao said with a lack of interest. 
Leng Yu knew that this was a disguised rejection, so she didn't go further into this topic. Boundary Line Qianda Plaza Qianda Plaza is the most famous large-scale shopping mall in China integrating leisure, entertainment and shopping, and it is also the largest Pokemon item trading center. In addition to some permanent shops, there is also a large free trade square. If you ask where the most trainers are in a city, it must be Qianda Plaza, where a large number of trainers who have traveled to this city have gathered here to set up stalls and sell some of their travel adventures. There are also a large number of trainers looking for their favorite products here, because the normal items here are cheaper than regular stores, and some novice trainers sell precious items as common items. Of course there will be unscrupulous merchants, but as long as you are not blatantly cheating and selling common stones as evolutionary stones, the normal mall will ignore you. Of course, there are also some hawkers with good eyesight gathered here. If you are unsure about the authenticity of something, you can pay them to help you judge. Anyway, the contract is set through Pokedex, and if there is a problem, you can pursue it. After all, each line has its own rules, and if you don't have enough eyesight, you can't get along with it. Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu walked around the clothing area of Qianda Plaza in the morning, and after buying the skill machine at the skill machine store, after lunch, Leng Yu had never visited the trainer free trading plaza, so it was rare to have Chen Xiaoxiao as her companion today suggest to take a look at Liberty Exchange Square. Chen Xiaoxiao acted on the attitude of customers doing whatever they want, and at the same time wanted to see what new and exotic gadgets were available in the trading square in the capital, so naturally he wholeheartedly agreed. As soon as you came to Free Trade Square and walked through the gate, there were hawkers who were here to make a living and walked up. Two ladies, are you a trainer who is new to travel? What items do you need to buy or exchange? I can show you the way with only a little commission. I basically know what every stall in this trading square has, and I can help you you will save a lot of time, said the peddler. Although Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yue are only 12 years old, they are both about 1.5 meters tall, and their clothes are relatively fashionable. And because Chen Xiaoxiao often engages in Pokemon battles and living in the wild, her face does not have the immaturity of other 12-year-old girls, but looks a bit mature and sophisticated. As for Leng Yu, although she was a teaser and talkative in front of Chen Xiaoxiao, she always had a poker face in front of outsiders. After long-term exposure to ice-type Pokemon, she matched a poker face, which made people seem to be able to see from her body. Feeling a chill, not to be underestimated. Chen Xiaoxiao frowned and said nothing. She knew that these hawkers had agreements with certain trainers who set up stalls to help solicit customers to earn double-sided rewards. The stalls that need the help of hawkers to solicit customers, normal, do not have any good products, and the prices will be more expensive, so even though they know that it is indeed more convenient, they do not intend to let them lead the way. I just came here to take a look casually. After all, there is a system, and there is no shortage of props and the like. And Leng Yu, as the daughter of Washa Elite 4, also lacks something, so naturally her big thigh father will configure it. Pulling Leng Yu back a step, intending to go around the hawkers and enter the square, but apparently they did not expect them to be so thick-skinned, and other hawkers also came over to start business after seeing this. This reminded Chen Xiaoxiao of the black car driver at the gate of the station in her previous life, and she never got bored. This is not the previous life, and Chen Xiaoxiao is not from common here. Just when she was about to pull Leng Yu to teleport in, Leng Yu gently pulled herself. Then I saw a middle-aged man in a black suit and black sunglasses coming to Leng Yu's side, while reaching out his hand to stop the peddler. It was clear in his heart, and at the same time he teased that Leng Yu, whom he almost forgot, was not from common. Although he didn't show up when he came to Qianda Plaza in the morning, the driver Li uncle, who had been following far behind him, showed his worth at this time and acted as a bodyguard. The hawker who just found out that someone stopped him was secretly upset. But when he saw Li uncle's attire, he knew it was not easy to mess with. After another glance at the silver elite trainer badge pinned to his black suit, he broke out in a cold sweat, quickly moved out of the way, lowered his head, and even don't dare to leave without authorization. Chen Xiaoxiao raised her eyebrows. It was only now that she saw the silver elite trainer badge of the driver Uncle Lee. Sure enough, even driving under region elite is not easy. 
Each level of trainer badge is also divided into three levels of gold, silver, and bronze. Take the elite trainer badge as an example. Bronze color requires at least one elite Pokemon and five quasi-elite Pokemon to apply. Silver requires at least three elite Pokemon and three quasi-elite Pokemon to apply. Gold needs to have at least a team of six elite level Pokemon. At the same time, trainers who have a gold elite trainer badge can compete for the gym masters of the four, old first tier, cities in China. He Yang, the father of Chen Xiaoxiao's squad leader He Xiao Wen, is a Pokemon with trainer for gold elite trainer badge. At the same time, the gym owners of the four, old first tier, cities are equivalent to China's region elite reserves, and in certain ages that are out of reach, they can even become China's region elites. And Driver Li Uncle has a silver elite trainer badge, and at least three elite level Pokemon and three quasi elite Pokemon, it is possible to win a gym owner in 15 new first tier cities. And now he is working as the driver's bodyguard, isn't it surprising? Walking into the trading square, I saw that it was like some flower markets in the previous life. There were booths neatly arranged on both sides of the sidewalk, and each booth was about one meter apart. At the same time, each booth had matching tables and chairs for sellers to place items and rest. Behind the tables and chairs is a white blackboard that is slightly higher than the front tables and chairs, for sellers to write down the items and needs for sale, which is convenient for buyers and sellers to screen. The construction of the square can be described as quite formal and considerate. The stalls here are charged in the morning and afternoon, and the same stall is half more expensive in the afternoon than in the morning. The booths are different in size and the prices are also different, and of course the prices vary greatly in different locations. For example, the stalls near the door are sky-high prices. Even the 1-meter square booths with some tables inside cost more than 2,000 yuan per afternoon, which is almost half a month's salary for a common person. So trainers are not something common people can play. Even though almost all Chinese people have Pokemon, most of them are kept as pets. There are less than 5% of full-time trainers, and less than 100% of trainers have elite level strength. 5% out of 5, let alone quasi-elite, elite. Xiao Xiao, look, there is a curved spoon over there, do you want to go and have a look? Leng Yu found a curved spoon prop written on the back of a booth, so she pointed to which booth and asked Chen Xiao Xiao. Do you need never melt ice? Without directly answering the question of whether to go and have a look, Chen Xiao Xiao asked rhetorically. That's right, you shouldn't be short of superpower items. When Leng Yu heard it, she felt right as if she had already prepared a bunch of ice props for her family specializing in ice, and Chen Xiaoxiao's family should do the same. Stopping and stopping all the way, after shopping for more than half an hour, I didn't find anything I liked. When I turned a corner and reached another row of stalls, I found a booth surrounded by more than 10 trainers. Leng Yu excitedly pulled Chen Xiaoxiao go away. Sell elite level Darmanitan descendant Pokemon eggs, you can show the parent child certificate issued by the Pokemon Center. Xiao Xiao, look at the descendants of elite level Darmanitan, fire type, after transforming into Dharma form. There is fire, super attribute, it is a very powerful Pokemon, do you want to consider it? There is a parent child certificate, let's go and have a look. Seeing the information written on the back of the booth, Leng Yu excitedly pulled Chen Xiaoxiao and said while walking. Chen Xiaoxiao naturally saw it, and became a little interested. When Darmanitan's species strength has 480 full physical strength, he is a physical attacker with only fire type, physical attack is as high as 140, special attack is only 30, and dual defense is only 55. And Darmanitan also has a unique Dharma mode ability. When the physical strength is lower than 50%, it will switch to the Dharma form and become fire, super attribute, species strength soars to 540, special attack and physical attack species strength are interchangeable, and dual defense at the same time each increases by 50, reaching a high of 105, but the speed will slow down from the original 95 to 55. But it is indeed a relatively strong Pokemon. The so-called parent-child certificate is a proof document for the Pokemon Center to determine the parent-child relationship by comparing the genes collected from Pokemon eggs with the genes collected from its parents. 
At the same time, register the strength segment of the parent of the Pokemon egg according to the strength segment detected by the parent through the Pokemon Strength Testing Agency of the relevant department of the Pokemon Alliance. In this Pokemon qualification has always been an unsolved mystery. In a world where the qualifications of Pokemon cannot be accurately judged by the naked eye and machines, the parent-child certificate is a more accurate way of judging. According to a Pokemon genetics professor's research, its parents are both elite level, so the probability that the offspring born from their combination can reach the elite level stably through breeder without bottlenecks is as high as 75%, and only 25% can reach the quasi-level through breeder. The peak of Elite encountered a bottleneck, and its strength stagnated. Therefore, the genetics professor judged that the probability of the offspring born from the combination of two Elite-level Pokémon with Elite qualifications is 75%. Therefore, related black technologies came into being. Paternity testing and paternity certification are one of them. Of course, this does not mean that Pokémon with poor qualifications will necessarily have poor offspring. There are also Pokemon with poor qualifications that can give birth to Pokemon with good qualifications. It may be due to environmental influences during pregnancy, or because of some adventures, or it may be that the offspring born will return to their ancestors, causing Pokemon with normal qualifications to give birth to Pokemon with good qualifications. Pokemon, without saying a word. Chen Xiaoxiao's Eevee is an Eevee who gave birth to an elite level qualification after knowing that her parents' qualifications are not very good. Based on the above, the conclusion is that bad is not necessarily bad, but good is basically good. Is there only a paternity test, but no mother-child test? A young boy asked. This one was born by mating with another trainer who possessed an elite level Darmanitan. Two eggs were born. We separated after each of us. We didn't intend to sell it, so we didn't do the identification. Later, I considered that I already had one Darmanitan was sold because it didn't fit the team, so it can only be tested for paternity by the father. The stall owner explained, My mother doesn't even know what Pokemon is, how can I be sure that this Pokemon egg can hatch into a Darumaka? The young boy continued to ask, This Pokemon egg is about to hatch, so I didn't turn on the incubator. After you buy it, I can wait until it hatches before leaving. The auction price of Yusanjiya Pokemon eggs with elite level paternity test is more than 8000 W, although my Darmanitan is not as good as Yusanjiya, but it is not too bad. It is sold at a low price of 4000 W, and I will not sell it so cheap if I am not in urgent need of money. Said the expression. Hearing their conversation, Chen Xiaoxiao, who had just walked to the booth, was moved. After glancing at the stall owner, she checked the information of the Pokemon eggs through the system. Pokemon eggs Darumaka. Gender. Male sign. Attribute. Fire. Personality. Sloppy. Special attack plus special defense. Ability. Vitality. Attack power increased by 1.5 times. Physical move hit rate times 0.8. Hidden ability. Psychic power. Pokemon with this ability will not cringe under contest condition. Qualification. Elite. Sure enough, I guessed that there was something tricky, but I didn't expect it to be so big that it only has elite level qualifications. The certificate issued by the Pokemon Center can't make mistakes, and it can't be faked, because the certificate has a QR code, and you can check the authenticity. This the egg's mother is a big problem. Chen Xiaoxiao said secretly in her heart, and at the same time lost interest in this Pokemon egg. Pulling the excited Leng Yu aside, he left the booth. How did you go? Is there not enough money? Not enough, I can lend you some. Leng Yu, who was in high spirits, was suddenly pulled away by Chen Xiaoxiao. Once again, the curious baby of role play threw a bunch of questions over. Which Pokemon egg? Forget it, Darmanitan can't even be counted as half a psychic system, so I don't want it. Chen Xiaoxiao originally wanted to say that there was something wrong with the Pokemon egg, but after thinking about it, she changed her answer. What's wrong with which Pokemon egg? Is there a problem? What's the problem? Didn't you say you can watch it hatch? Curious baby Leng Yu. Well, Chen Xiaoxiao underestimated Leng Yu's persistence. Well, because the paternity test is only for the father, not for the mother. According to what he just said, he should have an elite level Darmanitan in his hand. I observed that he did not carry an elite level trainer badge. 
Of course it could just be that he just doesn't like wearing it, or he doesn't have the other 5 quasi-elite Pokemon, less than elite level qualifications. Also according to what he said, his Darmanitan is a Pokemon egg born by mating with other elite level Darmanitan trainers. Because the trainer left, there is no way to do a Pokemon egg mother-child identification. Which means that the elite level Darmanitan in his hand is the father of the Pokemon egg. He can use the result of Darmanitan's level assessment recorded in the Pokedex to increase his convincing, but he doesn't. So I guess what he is holding should be the mother of the Pokemon egg, and it is less than elite level. If my guess is correct, even if the mother of which Pokemon egg is a quasi-elite, according to the results of a genetics professor's research, the probability of the Pokemon born from the combination of an elite level and a quasi-elite level reaching the elite qualification is less than 10%. If the mother is elite, he he. Quote. Chen Xiaoxiao sorted out her thoughts and tried to explain in a reasonable way. Isn't it a scam? No, I have to expose him. Leng Yu straightened her face, and pulled Chen Xiaoxiao straight to the booth just now. What happened? Doesn't Leng Yu only have sullen, black-bellied, and talkative attributes? When will the justice attribute be awakened? Are you an arcanine change? Chen Xiaoxiao was stunned for a moment. Back at the booth selling Pokemon eggs just now, I found that the boy who asked the question just now was about to transfer money. I really have to lament that other people have so much money. Leng Yu was really about to step forward to stop it, but Chen Xiaoxiao pulled Leng Yu and said in a low voice, wait for them to transfer the money first. When Leng Yu heard Chen Xiaoxiao's words, she glanced at Chen Xiaoxiao and raised her eyebrows, acting as if you were darker and more ruthless than me. Chen Xiaoxiao shrugged her shoulders, with a helpless expression, and at the same time turned up to Lang Yu's eyes and gave her a pair of white eyes, and she slowly realized it. I finally saw that their transaction was completed, and at the same time learned from their conversation that the final transaction amount was 3000 W. Lang Yu stepped forward and said, Wait, I want this Pokemon Egg 5000 W. But I want to see your elite level Darmanitan strength evaluation on your Pokedex. It looks like I am a rich man. Hey, why didn't you come earlier, I have already completed the deal with this little brother. Little brother, I said that this price is absolutely worth it, look, hey. The stall owner's face changed slightly after hearing Leng Yu's words, and then he said pretendingly. You bought it, right? You ask him to show me the strength of the elite level Darmanitan recorded in his Pokedex, and I will buy this Pokemon egg for 5000 W, how about it? Do you want to discuss with this seller, such as sharing some profits with him? 5000 W can buy two common Yusanjiya Pokemon eggs, Yusanjiya normal qualifications are not bad, you should know. And this Pokemon egg is not rated by the strength of both parents. Quote. Leng Yu knew that it was useless to talk to the stall owner, so she turned to the young male buyer. The young boy passed the Pokedex strength evaluation, both parents and other keywords, and immediately figured out the key to the problem, so he cooperated and said to the stall owner, I also want to see the Pokedex strength evaluation of the elite level Darmanitan in your Pokedex, how about giving you an extra 2000 W? Little brother, the goods have been sold to you. How you deal with it is up to you. As long as this egg hatches into Darumaka, the agreement between us will be over. The stall owner said with a blank face. Idiot, call the police. Chen Xiaoxiao couldn't stand it anymore, and said directly to the young buyer, while pulling Leng Yu behind her. The father of this egg is an elite level. You just checked the paternity test by connecting to the Pokemon Center. Don't make trouble for nothing. I am an elite level trainer. You have thought it through carefully, and you can't afford the consequences. After hearing Chen Xiaoxiao's words, the stall owner gave Chen Xiaoxiao a hard look, then said coldly to the young buyer, and threatened him. After hearing this, the young buyer knew that there was indeed a problem, and insinuated that he was really an idiot, and that he had to be reminded by a girl when he was cheated. After glancing at Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu gratefully, he didn't get scared by the stall owner's threat, took out the Pokedex and called the police. When Chen Xiaoxiao saw the young buyer directly calling the police without any hesitation, he also gave him a slightly higher look. Otherwise, what's the point of always asking Stephanie to top the tank? It's all reminded for this sake, do you have to report to the police for Stephanie? Are you cheated or am I cheated? 
The stall owner panicked when he saw that the young buyer called the police without any threats from him, and immediately threw a pokey ball. With a growl, a Firo appeared in front of the stall owner. Obviously something went wrong and he was about to run away. Firo. The stall owner quickly jumped onto Bai Diao and called Firo behind his back. Firo immediately understood what the owner meant and flew up. On Firo's back, the stall owner gave Chen Xiaoxiao and the others a hard look and thought, it's all these two little girls. Otherwise, I wouldn't have to be so embarrassed. Sudden. Firo. Attack them with drill peck. The stall owner who got things wrong turned out to be angry and hurt others. Ah. Don't want. Danger. Get out of the way. The scene became chaotic for a while, and at the same time, other nearby stall owners and buyers had mixed reactions. There are surprises, panic, kind reminders, and avoidance. Fire beast, stop it. The nearest young buyer immediately threw out a pokey ball in an attempt to intercept Firo's attack, and it turned out to be a fiery beast in Yusanjong. No matter how other people reacted, after all, it was the unscrupulous stall owner who issued the attack order before they responded, but they couldn't rescue Firo faster than Firo who attacked first. But facing being attacked by Firo in the arena, it is reasonable to be shocked, and even the two girls who yelled showed no panic on their faces, and even had mocking expressions on their faces. Chen Xiaoxiao is naturally because of his strong confidence in his own strength. As for Leng Yu, it's because of the strong confidence in Chen Xiaoxiao's strength. Well, that's right. That's it. It's a cold month. At this time, Chen Xiaoxiao had checked Firo's information through the system, and at the same time secretly mocked. Oh, quasi-elite. Firo. Gender. Male sign. Level. Level 52. Quasi-elite advanced. Attribute. Normal flying. Personality. Impatient. Speed plus physical defense. Ability. Sharp eyes. Hit rate stat modifiers will not be reduced by the opponent in any way, regardless of target dodge rate stat modifiers. Hidden ability. Snipe shot. When the attack hits the vitals, the damage is 1.5 times the normal damage of the vitals. Qualification. Quasi elite. Chen Xiaoxiao's eyes glowed blue, and she was about to use confusion to build a confusion wall in front of her to resist Firo's attack. Shanae. Gardevoir jumped out of the pokey ball by himself, and directly blocked the front and used the protect skill. What a loyal Gardevoir. And Firo's angry blow made the drill peck attack not even make a slight ripple on the light screen condensed by Gardevoir's protect skill. Wow. So beautiful. Gardevoir. It turned out to be Gardevoir, the other color of Flash. The people nearby exclaimed again. What? Seeing that he was about to attack the troublesome little Stephanie, the pupils of the black-hearted stall owner who had a distorted expression on his face shrank instantly. Seeing how easily Gardevoir blocked his Firo's attack, he was surprised and at the same time secretly retreated in his heart. Before I could make any movement, at the same time, I heard. Abomasno. Ice Beam. Official translation, Ice Beam. A blue ray of contest is coming from a distance. The temperature drops instantly where the light passes. At the same time, after the icy blue light hit the black-hearted stall owner and Firo, they were directly frozen and turned into an ice sculpture. If you look carefully, you can still see the distorted smile and constricted pupils on the face of the black-hearted stall owner. It turned out that the facial expression was turned into an ice sculpture before it could keep up with the changes in his heart. It's really weird. Said it was slow, then it was fast. It only took 2 to 3 seconds from the unscrupulous stall owner throwing the pokey ball to sending out the attack order, and now being turned into an ice sculpture. The development of things was ups and downs. After the ups and downs, the crowd around the audience seemed to be unable to turn their brains, and they were all stunned. Where? Are you all right, miss? Uncle Lee walked up to Leng Yu and asked nervously. I'm fine, Xiao Xiao will protect me, thank you. Uncle Lee. Leng Yu smiled and thanked at the same time. It turned out that it was the driver Uncle Lee who had just released Abomasno to launch the freezing light attack order. Although it seemed that Uncle Lee's rescue was a bit slower, it was actually Gardevoir who came out of the pokey ball and stood in front of Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu to shorten Firo's attack distance. Otherwise, if Gardevoir didn't come out, the result would be Firo the moment before Chen Xiaoxiao was attacked, he was hit by a freezing light. Miss Xiaoxiao, thank you. Sorry to trouble you. Li Uncle bowed to Chen Xiaoxiao and said. 
At the same time, he meowed at Gardevoir who was standing beside Chen Xiaoxiao, and the pupils covered by the sunglasses shrank slightly. He saw the situation just now. As an elite trainer, he has extremely rich battle experience. In the battle, he used the protect skill not to mention 10,000 times, but also 8,000 times. It is not difficult to see from the momentum that Firo surged when he attacked just now, he definitely has quasi-elite level strength, but the quasi-elite level Firo's angry blow hit the light screen condensed by Gardevoir's hastily used protect skill. Make a little noise. This is definitely the suppression from the same rank. 12 years old, elite Pokemon. This is the same age as Miss. No, it should be, no trouble at all. Of course, Chen Xiaoxiao didn't take too much credit for it, she just accepted others' worship, pulled Lang Yu to block the way, and checked Abamasno's information at the same time. Abamas now. Gender. Male sign. Level. Level 79. Peak of Elite. Attribute. Grass Ice. Personality. Calm. Special Attack plus Speed. Ability. Snowfall. When this Pokemon enters the scene, the weather will change to hail and last for 5 rounds. Hidden Ability. Snipe shot hand by shielding the sound, it will not be attacked by sound moves. Qualification. Elite. I'm sorry. It's all because of me, I'm really sorry. A certain young trainer finally came to his senses at this time, came to Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu and bowed guiltily and apologized. Snort. Leng Yu didn't bother to pay attention to him at all, put on a poker face, snorted and turned her head away. The young trainer scratched his head, suddenly embarrassed. After Chen Xiaoxiao praised Gardevoir a few words, he put it in the Poke Ball. And check the information of the young trainer's fiery beast. Actually, I don't want it to come out at all. It's too high profile. The other Pokemon are also high profile, but the only low-key Sun Pokemon can't come out. The Sun Pokemon expresses his heartache, and it's obvious that Gardevoir has always been by Chen Xiaoxiao's side to protect her. Fiery Beast. Gender. Male Sign. Level. Level 54. Quasi-elite advanced. Attribute. Fire. Personality. Conservative. Special attack plus physical attack. Ability. Fierce fire. When HP is less than one-third, the power of fire type moves will increase by 1.5 times. Hidden ability. Flash fire. When attacked by a fire type move, absorb the flames, and the fire type move will be multiplied by 1.5 times. Qualification. Elite. What's going on here? Who the hell is using Pokemon to attack people? You. At this time, the management personnel of the square came out, and the ice sculpture in the field asked nervously as soon as they arrived. Looking around, he saw an Abamasno, who made it clear that the perpetrator was about to say something harshly, but when he saw the Silver Elite Trainer badge on his left chest, he immediately swallowed the next words. May I ask what happened here? After sorting out his emotions, the square manager asked carefully. The driver, Uncle Lee, didn't want to talk to him at all. If it wasn't for their poor supervision of the square, letting any stall owner openly cheat here, it wouldn't have caused Miss Leng Yu to be in danger. In fact, this is really someone else's fault. After all, in the free trade square, buyers and sellers have always traded freely, and you can only blame yourself if you get an eye. Who knew that when they met a few Lengqing heads, they directly lifted the table and called the police. This led to what happened next. The scene became awkward again. Stupid. Did you call the police? If it goes on like this, I don't know when there will be results. Chen Xiaoxiao can only ask the young trainer. Report, report, report. The young trainer obviously didn't expect Chen Xiaoxiao to talk to him, so he didn't react immediately. Well, now the manager of the square is also clear, and everything will be known when the police come. Finally, after five minutes, several policemen riding Arcanine, a special police mount, finally arrived late. Perhaps this is the, justice may be late, but it will never be absent, in legendary. This is, a young policewoman came to the scene and became puzzled after discovering this scene. After all, the alert they received was a scam case, not a Pokemon assault case. It should be caused by the escalation of the case, but I don't know whether the person who was frozen was the reporter or the perpetrator. At the same time, it was caused by a powerful Pokemon. In addition, it did not cause any damage to the environment. At the same time, the frozen person does not have any wounds. 
It can be sealed without injury, which can better reflect the Pokémon's control over the ice element. It should be an ice-type Pokémon, not the original Pokémon it can't be so precise. A young policeman analyzed. After listening to the young policeman's analysis, the policeman's eyes were all on Abomasno who was present at the scene. He was of ice type and powerful. Steady, an older middle-aged man with the highest position among the police officers present walked up to Uncle Lee and before speaking, Uncle Lee took out his Pokedex, called up the page of his identity certificate, and turned it over to the middle-aged policeman. At the same time, they said in a voice that only they could hear, I am the advanced prosecutor directly under Leng Elite. You can confirm my identity first. After speaking, he handed over the Pokedex. The middle-aged policeman straightened his face, saluted first, then took the Pokedex with both hands, took out his own Pokedex and used a special software to scan Uncle Lee's identity information page, and handed it back after confirming that it was correct. I was just passing by, um, it should be fraud, the circumstances are more serious, the amount is relatively huge, and I pretended to be an elite trainer, and more importantly, I made Pokemon attack the family members of the working region elite. After the incident, which young man can you bring to the police? Go back and make a statement. Uncle Lee looked at Leng Yu, and then pointed to the young trainer, Solacian, said. Chen Xiao Xiao. Leng Yu, Xiao Xiao, why don't we set up a stall? After the farce ended, Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu continued to stroll leisurely, not paying attention to what happened just now. Probably because I was tired from shopping, or because Leng Yu, who thought it was fun, proposed to set up a stall. Chen Xiaoxiao naturally agreed wholeheartedly. She wanted to set up a stall a long time ago to see if she could get a good Pokemon in exchange. However, due to the need to have a formal trainer qualification certificate to set up a stall, and because I am an adult, I have not been able to do so. Now that Leng Yu mentioned it, she naturally agrees wholeheartedly. As for the trainer qualification certificate, doesn't the veteran driver, Li uncle who follows him have it? I am embarrassed to speak, after all I am not familiar with him, Leng Yu has no such problem. All the way to the square booth rental office. The management personnel inside saw that it was the big shot, just now. He didn't even look at the trainer certificate, so he directly opened the booth management software, opened the square floor plan display interface, and asked Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu to choose one of the vacant booths. Of course, the money still had to be paid. I chose a location, normal, with a table about 2 meters long and 1 meter wide. After paying the rent of 8,000 yuan for an afternoon, I came to the booth and put some Pokemon props such as evolution stones and props. Advanced, the best evolution stones, all kinds of Pokemon props, only super power, ice, and flying Pokemon, negotiable. After placing the items and writing the exchange intention, Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu whispered to each other while logging onto the internet to check news headlines and hotspots, waiting for the guests to come to their door. Shocked, the man is silent and the woman is crying, the middle-aged man actually treats the 16-year-old boy. Shocked. A flash-colored Gardevoir appeared in the Free Trade Square in Beijing. Bravely fight against black-hearted businessmen. Shocked, the undercover police cracked another strange case. The suspected backbone of the anti-alliance cult has been arrested. It still feels familiar, but just over an hour later, the dedicated UC shock department has completed three consecutive shocks and successfully gained a lot of hits. I've got a really nice Pidgey here for a sharp beak. Finally welcomed the first customer, even delusional to exchange Pidgey for a flying prop. Do you think you are a fool? No change. After Chen Xiaoxiao responded indifferently, he didn't even bother to talk to him without checking his qualifications through the system. It's not that Pidgey is not good, it is indeed a good flying Pokemon after evolving to Pidgey, and it can also evolve into Mega, which is considered strong. But the problem is that this world has the magical software, Didi Bidiao, which has caused Bidiao to become a rental bird. It is too cheap to use Bidiao by yourself. Chen Xiaoxiao is not worried at all that no guests will come, the worst thing he puts is Pokemon props, and there are all attributes. The bug type silver powder with the worst carrying items in each series of Pokemon is 300W on the market, and the most expensive dragon series is as high as tens of millions.
There are even advanced evolution stones of various series. Using advanced evolution stones to evolve Pokemon has a certain probability of improving aptitude, and there are millions of them on the market. Among them are the best fire stones and the best grass stones. Using the best evolution stone to evolve Pokemon has a higher probability of improving qualifications, and the market price is 10 times that of advanced evolution stone, ranging from tens of millions. These were all laid out by Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu. Although Chen Xiaoxiao exchanged in the system can only be used by himself and cannot be traded. But in the six years since traveling here, I have gained something. In addition, because of her single inheritance, all the Pokemon props and items left over from dozens of generations of ancestors are all in her hands, and it is no problem to put them around again. As for Leng Yu, although she didn't carry any precious props with her, isn't there an elite Uncle Lee sitting behind her? It's trivial to borrow some top quality props to show off, and she didn't expect to be able to exchange for her favorite Pokemon, just play casually. Even if the Pokemon you really like are exchanged, just go back and let the elite dad with thighs reimburse you, who will let you be your only child. Because of the high quality of the items displayed in Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu's booth. Moreover, Chen Xiaoxiao also released the Sun Pokemon, and Leng Yu released the Ice Pokemon. The two grew up in the same EV breeder field, so they can be regarded as childhood sweethearts. Two evolutionary forms of the EV family are playing together, gradually attracting many guests to watch and consult. It is good to have the Super Energy System, Ice System, and Flying System. There are all Pokemon. For example, the rare ones include Steel and Super Attribute Bronzor, the degenerated type of Bronzong. Ultra, Wubat of Flying Attribute, Swubat Degenerate Type. Ice, Alola Sandslash from Steel Type, Skarmory from Flying Type, etc. It's a pity that the aptitudes are all normal. After all, according to Chen Xiaoxiao's psychological expectation, at least an elite level aptitude is required to be attractive. Among them, Ice, Steel Type Sand Slash Leng Yu fell in love with it, and the other party asked to exchange for an advanced Ice Stone. Chen Xiaoxiao checked the qualifications and only reached elites, so Leng Yu did not let Leng Yu agree to exchange. Leng Yu was still convinced. Although Chen Xiaoxiao was puzzled, but didn't say anything. Alola's Sand Slash is Ice Steel Type. Afterwards, Chen Xiaoxiao had no choice but to explain that he asked to change the Ice Stone indicating that he majored in ice but he took out the ice Pokemon in exchange. And Sand Slash can no longer evolve, most likely because he has been breeder himself, or even he himself has been breeder to evolution since Sand Shrew. It was exchanged only after Sand Slash was found to improve too slowly, and Pokemon whose strength improved too slowly indicated poor qualifications. It was proposed in a research report of a professor of genetics. When he studied a group of Pokemon whose parents both were elite, he found that after the same training and breeder every day, the Pokemon who can steadily improve to elite strength will improve more than the Pokemon who have reached the bottleneck at the peak of quasi-elite hurry up, even when the former has reached the elite level, the latter is still hovering at the quasi-elite intermediate level. After hearing Chen Xiaoxiao's explanation, Leng Yu understood. Li Uncle, who was sitting behind him, also nodded secretly, once again refreshed his understanding of Chen Xiaoxiao, secretly lamenting that he not only possessed great strength at a young age, but also was very excellent in knowledge. I have an Esper here, and a Nyira Pokemon egg, how about a Super Grass Stone and a Miracle Seed? At this time, a trainer walked into Chen Xiaoxiao's booth and said. Chen Xiaoxiao's heart moved, and he glanced at him. Well, he is a middle-aged trainer about 30 years old. He wears a copper-colored elite trainer badge on his left chest. He is by far the most powerful customer. Leng Yu's eyes lit up when she heard Neela's presence, but she didn't speak, she glanced at Chen Xiaoxiao. The value of Esper and Niura eggs is not comparable to the top-grade grass stone, and you also asked for a miracle seed. Chen Xiaoxiao understood that Leng Yu wanted it, but the prices were not equal, so she asked rhetorically. Esper eggs are worth 15 million on the market, and the parents of this Niura egg are very strong and have elite level strength. It was very difficult for me to defeat them and get it. It is definitely worth the price. The middle-aged trainer said. Take it out and have a look. Chen Xiaoxiao thought for a while and decided to check the qualifications first. Middle-aged training put a Pokemon egg on the table, 
and then took out a Poke Ball to release a great Pokemon with pink eyes, purple eyes, white palms, and gray hair on the head, face and neck. Yes Esper got it right. Seeing such a cute Pokemon, Leng Yu's eyes lit up. Esper. Gender. Male sign. Level. Level 15. Common advanced. Attribute. Psychic. Personality. Gentle. Special defense plus physical attack. Ability. Sharp eyes. Hit rate stat modifiers will not be reduced by the opponent in any way, regardless of target dodge rate stat modifiers. Hidden ability. Go its own way, because I go my own way, it won't become chaotic contest condition. Qualification. Elite. Pokemon Egg Nyura. Gender. Female sign. Attribute. Evil Ice. Personality. Stubborn. Attack plus special attack. Ability. Psychic power. Pokemon with this ability will not cringe under contest condition. Hidden ability. Steal. Steal items that touch your own rival. Qualification. Elite. Chen Xiaoxiao remained calm on the surface, but in his heart he shouted wildly, they are all elite qualifications. Uncle, are you a boy who gives money? Are you a grass specialist? Chen Xiaoxiao asked suddenly. Although I like it very much, and at the same time, I have 10,000 people willing to exchange it, but I can save a little bit by asking for a lot of money and paying back the money. If you can check your qualifications, you know it's worth the price, but if others can't check their qualifications, they charge you such a high price, you're taking yourself for granted. Yes, I specialize in grass, otherwise I will cultivate it myself. Although the middle-aged trainer didn't know why Chen Xiaoxiao asked this question, he still answered honestly. The Pokemon Alliance can accurately distinguish only 200 kinds of Pokemon eggs, which do not include Nira eggs. How can you prove that this is Nira eggs? Also, the parents of this Pokemon egg are very strong. You said that you defeated they obtained this Pokemon egg, can you defeat two elite level Manuelas with your specialization in grass? Chen Xiaoxiao took a deep look at his copper-colored elite trainer badge, and asked suspiciously. At that time, it was because one of the Weaviles had just given birth, which led to the decline in strength, and the other Weavile needed to be distracted from taking care of it. I succeeded. They are very strong. I can guarantee that this egg is Nira's Pokemon egg. The middle-aged trainer did not expect Chen Xiaoxiao to ask himself whether he specialized in grass because the attribute of the grass attribute he was repairing was restrained by Weavile, and he doubted his own strength. I had to explain it according to the facts. At the same time, the Nyira egg is indeed the Pokemon Alliance's no accurate testing method to prove that this egg Nyira, so it has been unable to sell it and other merchants can only sell a few million at the highest, so I went to the free trade square to try my luck. Well, I can exchange three advanced grass stones and one miracle seed with you, because there is no valid third-party proof that this is indeed a Nira egg, and I have to take a big risk. Chen Xiaoxiao said, No, it's too low. The value of Esper is equivalent to three advanced grass stones. The price of a miracle seed is almost the same as an advanced grass stone. The value of a Niura egg is not the same. And its parents do have elite strength, so the value of the Niula egg is higher than your bid. I can exchange it for a top quality grass stone. The middle-aged trainer rejected Chen Xiaoxiao's offer and lowered the price standard. But you can't prove it, can you? Even if I believe that you are a Niura egg, and I believe that its father has elite level strength, but what you said about another Weavile's decline in strength due to just giving birth, is it true? Is the strength declining, or is there no elite level strength at all? This is not convincing. How about three advanced grass stones and two miracle seeds, I can exchange them with you, and it is impossible for you to exchange for the ultimate grass stones. This is the highest price I can offer, and I believe no one will offer a higher price than me, you can think about it. Chen Xiaoxiao said disapprovingly on the surface, but in his heart he yelled, quickly agree. Quickly agree. All right. It was as if the sky heard Chen Xiaoxiao's roar. The middle-aged trainer was struggling in his heart, and after some weighing, he agreed to Chen Xiaoxiao's exchange. After the agreement was reached, the exchange process between the two parties was very simple. The Pokemon Egg and Esper were placed on the table from the very beginning. After Chen Xiaoxiao hugged the Pokemon Egg to Leng Yu, who had already stared at the stars, she held Esper in her arms. Take out three advanced grass stones and two miracle seeds for the middle-aged trainer to check. 
While comforting Esper in a low voice, Chen Xiaoxiao gently stroked Esper's hair with a trace of psychic in his hand, and then took out the super excellent energy cube produced by the system to comfort Esper's injured heart, and finally coaxed Esper be happy. The middle-aged trainer carefully checked that the advanced grass stone and miracle seed were genuine, and handed Esper's pokey ball to Chen Xiaoxiao. After Chen Xiaoxiao opened the pokey ball and clicked the self-destruct button, the pokey ball lost its function. Esper, do you want to be my Pokemon? I will take good care of you, and you will have delicious food every day. After the pokey ball was successfully destroyed, Chen Xiaoxiao took out a luxury ball and said to Esper. Meow. Esper let out a happy cry, then clicked the luxury ball button, and Chen Xiaoxiao successfully subdued Esper. Well, it seems to be the same old way, but it is mainly because Chen Xiaoxiao has psychic, has a super affinity, and the super Pokemon can feel a comfortable and friendly feeling on her. Happy cooperation. After successfully subduing Esper, Chen Xiaoxiao stood up and shook hands with the middle-aged trainer. After exchanging Esper and Nyura eggs, it seemed that luck had run out. Until after 5 o'clock in the afternoon, the trainers who came to consult with Super-type, Ice-type, and Flying-type Pokemon were not of high Pokemon qualifications. The best aptitude is Quasi-Elite, and it's not a rare Pokemon. It's a Talo of the normal type and the flying type. When it evolves into a Swellow, it only has 455 species strength. It doesn't meet Chen Xiaoxiao's standards. It's even better than Bai Diao. The evolution of Mega can only be said to be fold, Didi compares the eagle. Hey, is it you? Chen Xiaoxiao and Leng Yu, who were lying on the table boredly, heard a young surprised voice, looked up and saw an acquaintance. Leng Yu snorted and continued to lie on the table to play Pokemon Pokedex. I'm sorry, thank you just now, I have caused you trouble, sorry. The acquaintance turned serious and apologized. Hee hee, okay, come out so soon. Has the money been recovered? Chen Xiaoxiao said jokingly. Um, yes, let me leave after the statement is recorded, and I will be notified in a few days if I have money. It turned out that this, acquaintance, was the young trainer who had just been cheated. After being cheated, he still had the courage to go back here to continue shopping. I really have to admire his nerve. By the way, my name is Xu Fei, a trainer who just came out for a trip this year. Hee hee, after I finished speaking, I even introduced myself. Nan Yangshu. Chen Xiaoxiao asked with a heartbeat. Ah, that's right, Nagumo Shu. I don't know the two of you. Xu Fei didn't expect Chen Xiaoxiao to guess his heel based on his surname, and asked at the same time. Nan Yangshu still thinks of a Darmanitan. Chen Xiaoxiao asked instead of answering his question. The Nanyan Shu family is considered a relatively famous fire family in China. Living near the living volcano in Chongtang City, Nanyan Province, where is the fire paradise of China, it is said that there is a Moltres living in the living volcano, because an ancestor of the Shu family in Nanyan who once was a champion of China the main force is Moltres. Therefore, people speculate that after the death of the champion, his Moltres is very likely to live in the live volcano in Chongtang City, but it has not been confirmed. Except for the champion of the Shu family, none of the descendants of the Shu family has ever produced a region elite. Of course, even if the descendants do not have any more characters above region elite, they should not be underestimated. Each generation of their patriarchs has at least three fire-type imperial families. Even if they do not succeed in reaching the top of region elite, they are still extremely powerful. Quote dot dot dot. I am not the main vein, but a branch. This question was really heart-wrenching, Xu Fei answered helplessly. Okay, my name is Chen Xiaoxiao, this Leng Yu. Well, it would be fine if Xu Fei didn't say that he is a branch, if he doesn't dump him, he won't dump him. But since Xu Fei said that he is a branch, it would be too contemptuous if Chen Xiaoxiao didn't introduce himself. Is Shencheng Psychics Chen and Jodo region cold? Xu Fei's heart moved, and he asked tentatively. After all, he guessed that they were not from common when they helped out, and Chen Xiaoxiao's Gardevoir was powerful. Leng Yu has an elite trainer bodyguard, combined with their two surnames, it is not difficult to guess. Whether Chen Xiaoxiao is Shencheng's super-powered Chen, he can't be too sure, after all, he has never heard of Shencheng psychic Chen's family having a girl. All generations give birth to boys, as mentioned earlier. But Leng Yu is 100% sure. 
The length surname is rare in the first place, and with the elite trainer bodyguard, he can even be sure that it is the daughter of Hua Shao Ice Elite Langxin. Hem, tell me. Chen Xiao Xiao nodded and said at the same time. Say what? Xu Fei said doubtfully. What do you want to change? Are you here to chat with us? Are we like little sisters who can strike up a conversation casually? Chen Xiao Xiao said with a dark face. Lang Yu, who had always been the background board, raised her head and looked at him coldly. Ah, uh, yes, no. I mean yes, I want to exchange Pokemon items. I want to exchange for the ultimate fire stone, but I only have one Pokemon that eventually evolves into a flying type. The price may not be equal. I can make up the difference in exchange. Xu Fei, who didn't react for a while, saw Chen Xiaoxiao's face getting darker and darker, and quickly explained. What Pokemon? Look, Chen Xiaoxiao said concisely. It's a Togepi. I used Nanyan province to meet and subdue it on the way to the capital, but it doesn't seem to like me very much, so I can only exchange it because I believe you will treat it well. Xu Fei said, at the same time, he took out a pokey ball and released a smaller one from it, whose body color was mainly bright yellow. Its body looked like an eggshell with red and blue triangular patterns on its body, and there were five thorns on the top of its head. The object is Togepi unmistakable. Pork. As soon as Togepi came out, he looked around first, and when he saw Shu Fei, he cried loudly with grievance. Hey, don't cry, Togepi, are you hungry? Look, there's something to eat here, come on, ah. Chen Xiaoxiao saw that Togepi was crying as soon as he came out, and immediately hugged him to coax him. Fortunately, after all, it is a Pokemon with a child's heart, so it doesn't cry much when it has something to eat, and eats it happily. The best fairy energy cube produced by the system is a cow. At the same time, I probably guessed what Xu Fei meant when he said that he didn't like him. It probably means that Togepi loves to cry too much. After all, Xu Fei is a boy, so he couldn't take it anymore. Then, looking at Togepi's pitiful look after being hungry for a long time, Chen Xiaoxiao asked again in doubt. What do you usually feed it? Fire energy cubes. Leng Yu on the background also gave him a contemptuous look. Talent. Well, seeing Xu Fei blushing and not speaking, he knew he had guessed right. I can't help it either. I was in the wild at the time, and I only had fire energy cubes on me. Xu Fei hastily explained. What do you eat? Chen Xiaoxiao's question once again left Xu Fei speechless. Xu Fei secretly scolded himself for being an idiot. Yeah, I can feed Togepi whatever I eat. Why do I have to feed energy cubes? Chen Xiaoxiao glanced at him contemptuously and checked Togepi's information. Togepi. Gender. Female sign. Level. Level 10, common intermediate. Attribute, fairy. Personality, timid, speed plus physical attack. Ability, heaven's grace the appearance rate of additional effects when using moves times 2. If it exceeds 100%, additional effects will definitely appear. Hidden ability, super lucky, hitting the key level increases by one level. Qualification, elite. Seeing Togepi's message, Chen Xiaoxiao couldn't help but smile knowingly and sighed in her heart, another boy who gave away money, haha. <laughs> as long as the personality is modified to be conservative, coupled with a scope lens, the official translation of the zoom lens film, it is a perfect fort. The best fire stone on the market is about 6000 W. After all, Togepi is better than the three rare Pokemon. The Pokemon eggs on the market are 3000W 4000W. I will take the middle number of 3500W. You still need to supply me with 2500 W. Is that okay? Seeing that Togepi has elite qualifications, Chen Xiaoxiao didn't bother to bully him anymore, and said it fairly. Okay, no problem. Xu Fei also felt that Chen Xiaoxiao was fair, so he agreed directly. Just transfer the money and check it yourself. Chen Xiaoxiao opened the Pokedex payment page, put it on the desktop and then took out the top quality fire stone head to let him check the authenticity. Togepi, follow me from now on, okay, I have a lot of friends here. Look, this is Sun Pokemon, and this is Esper. Chen Xiaoxiao continued to coax Togepi, and at the same time released the newly exchanged Esper to introduce each other. No problem. After Xu Fei transferred the account, he checked the ultimate fire stone and said there was no problem. 
then handed Togepi's poke ball to Chen Xiaoxiao. Shencheng Airport. Chen Xiaoxiao, who walked out of the airport hall, took a deep breath. Although the air here is the same, for children returning home, the air at home is always different. In her previous life, Chen Xiaoxiao was from Shencheng, and because she was an orphan, she never left Shencheng. Well, it should be said that she doesn't have the ability to leave Shencheng, because the fare of a trip may be her living expenses for several weeks in her previous life. When she has time to go out, no one will do odd jobs for two days. It is good to improve her life. After coming to this world, I am still a person from Shencheng. Although this place is quite different from my previous life, psychologically speaking, Shencheng always gives me an inexplicable sense of belonging. Even if he doesn't have to worry about the basic life in this life, and the property he inherited is enough to travel all over China, but this is the first time he has been away from home for so long, even if it is only less than two months. Boarding a taxi at the gate of the airport, Chen Xiaoxiao did not use the teleport to rush home. Instead, she sat behind the taxi and looked out of the window at the tall buildings that were constantly receding due to the forward movement of the vehicle, in stark contrast to the lush green trees on the roadside. Bright flowers are blooming on the verdant green belt, and the little cutie fly flying above can be vaguely seen. Looking at the fleeting scenery outside the window, Chen Xiaoxiao through the car window seemed to be able to feel the fresh breath outside the window, as if her soul had been washed. Grandma, Grandma, I'm back. Chen Xiaoxiao, who returned to Shencheng, did not go home immediately, but came to the farm run by her grandmother not far from home, because she would definitely not be at home at this time. Chen Xiaoxiao, who was an orphan in her previous life and felt family affection for the first time in this life, cherishes this hard-won family affection very much. When she returned to Shencheng, she immediately went to report to her grandma that she was safe. Grandma saw her granddaughter whom she hadn't seen for nearly two months. Although she was happy in her heart, she thought that Chen Xiaoxiao had gone out of the city without telling her, and hadn't come home after going out for so long. It is inevitable that I will be worried, and at the same time I am a little resentful. So the grandma taunted her out of mouth and said, Hey, are you willing to come back? Are you crazy about playing outside? Do you still know to come back? Tomorrow is the last day of reporting. School starts the day after tomorrow, don't you want to study anymore? You want to go to heaven? Okay, okay, your dear granddaughter, I'm back now. Come on, grandma, let's go in and let you see my new conquered Pokemon. Quote, of course, Chen Xiaoxiao knew that her grandma blamed herself for hiding it from her and felt resentful towards herself, so she took her hand and walked into the breeder field, intending to let her see what she had gained and divert her attention. Come out. Gardevoir, Solgaleo, Sun Pokemon, Metig, Esper, Togepi. After dragging her grandma inside, Chen Xiaoxiao took out the pokey ball with both hands, holding three yearning balls between her fingers and threw them away. Gardevoir, Solgaleo, Sun Pokemon, haven't come back for a long time, first say hello to my grandma. Matang, Esper, Togepi this is my grandma, just like me, listen to my grandma, go, go and say hello to my grandma. Quote. Shanai, grandma is good. Gardevoir walked up to grandma and said hello to grandma obediently. Sun Pokemon walked up to grandma and gently rubbed against grandma's thigh. Although Solgaleo is more than 3 meters tall and has a majestic appearance, he is a docile kitten in front of Chen Xiaoxiao and her grandmother. He also obediently kneels down next to her grandmother and gently rubs against Chen Xiaoxiao's grandmother. Although Esper saw Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao for the first time, his relatives, who knew it was his master, also jumped on her shoulders and rubbed her face obediently. Togepi also wanted to learn how Esper climbed onto Grandma's shoulders, but unfortunately it didn't have such agility, so it had to open its hands in front of Grandma, jumping and jumping, looking aggrieved and begging for a hug. Seeing such a cute Togepi, Grandma certainly wouldn't refuse, immediately picked up Togepi, and gently stroked its, um, eggshell. As for Metig, it's embarrassing, and he's too big to climb on the shoulders. As for rubbing and begging for a hug, Thought the picture is so beautiful, in the end, I had to say hello from the side in embarrassment. Grandma is an old man, how could she neglect Matang, she stretched out her hand and patted Matang's head to show her closeness. Seeing Gardevoir, Solgaleo, 
Sun Pokemon that I grew up with, Rare's Flash Quasi God Metig, Too Cute Pokemon Esper, and Togepi, my grandma's face can no longer be straight. There is a smile on the face, and at the same time, I feel relieved, all of them are very powerful or precious Pokemon. Matang, I showed you the video with you. You don't know about Esper and Togepi, but I exchanged them in Beijing Exchange Square without paying much. The talents are very good. Chen Xiaoxiao showed off to her grandmother. I thought my grandma would praise me, but my grandma, who just put a smile on her face just now, turned serious. I know. A flash of different color Gardevoir appeared in Beijing's free trade square, bravely fighting black-hearted businessmen, and undercover police solve strange cases again. It's all on the headlines of you see, and I don't know that you have caused troubles and gone to the capital. Grandma's face darkened again. It's not me. It's Leng Yu. I told Leng Yu to leave it alone. It's because she insists on taking care of the back. I'm just laying down. After all, it's really not my fault, the UC shock department, Chen Xiaoxiao quickly explained. Hee hee, little Langdon Yu is such a quiet and well-behaved Stephanie, how could she cause trouble? An accident must cause trouble for little Langdon Yu's family. You are still relying on little Langdon Yu. Grandma said with her complexion getting darker and darker. Chen Xiaoxiao was dumbfounded when she heard what grandma said, Leng Yu is cute. Quiet, I do not know how. I have nothing to say. You have been a tomboy since you were a child, and you like to make trouble everywhere. Don't I know you? Grandma acted like I was right, I knew you and kept scolding Chen Xiaoxiao. It's really not my fault. The fault is Leng Yu's. Leng Yu, UC shock department. Chen Xiaoxiao roared in his heart. Well, towels, toothpaste, toothbrush, water cup, sheets, mat. Xiao Xiao, have you packed all your clothes? Grandma asked Chen Xiao Xiao who was packing clothes in the room while helping Chen Xiao Xiao pack the necessities of life. Yes, today is the last day of August, and tomorrow will be the day when schools officially start in September. There is no junior high school in this world, and high school is after elementary school. High school is different from elementary school in that it needs to be boarded at school, so grandma helped Chen Xiaoxiao pack daily necessities early in the morning. Okay okay. Not long after Chen Xiaoxiao's voice came out of the room, she came out and came to grandma's side. When you go to school, you must listen carefully to the lectures and listen to the teacher. Teachers are older than you, more knowledgeable than you, and a little experience can save you a lot of detours. You can't not pay attention to the class because the teacher is not as good as you. And classmates we must live in peace, we must not underestimate our classmates, and we must not rely on psychic to bully our classmates. Do you know, you have to take care of yourself when you go to school, and you can't be frizzy anymore. Grandma told Chen Xiaoxiao while tidying up. Got it, got it, don't Saturdays and Sundays be a holiday and you can come back. Also. I have to wash the clothes and sheets by myself when I arrive at school. You can't always trouble Gardevoir to help you do the laundry. If you really don't want to wash them during the holidays, you can take them back and wash them, you know. Sha and I. It's okay, Grandma, it's not troublesome at all, it's very easy. Before Chen Xiaoxiao could speak, Sha and I beside him explained with a blushing face. Gardevoir, you don't have to spoil her. Did Xiaoxiao hear that? Grandma, there is a washing machine in the dormitory. Okay, okay, I'm going to report, and Solgulio and Medig will be taken care of by you. Seeing what grandma wanted to say, Chen Xiaoxiao interrupted immediately, and then took out the pokey balls of Solgulio and Matang and handed them to grandma. At the same time, he said to the pokey ball, Solgulio, Matang, I'm going to school. It's inconvenient to take you with me. I will come back to see you on Saturday and Sunday. Do you know that you have to listen to your grandmother at home? The pokey ball blinked to show it knew. And this is the steel that Solgulio and Medang like to eat. Super energy cube, please, grandma. Chen Xiaoxiao then took out the prepared energy cube and gave it to grandma. Understood, I will greet it for you, do you really need me to send you to report? Grandma took Solgulio's pokey ball and energy cube, and asked when she knew Chen Xiaoxiao was going out. No. I'm not a child, I'm going out, bye. After Chen Xiaoxiao stepped forward to hug her grandma, she took the space bag that grandma had used to pack her daily necessities, and ran out the door. 
Boundary Line Shencheng Pokemon High School was established on the outskirts of Shencheng, surrounded by woods and backed by the sea. There are no other buildings within a few kilometers of Fang Yuan except the school. There is only one road leading directly to the school. After taking a taxi to the school and following the signs at the school gate and the freshman registration signs in the school, Chen Xiaoxiao came to the registration office. After registering the information and paying the tuition and accommodation fees, Chen Xiaoxiao came to a small building. The dormitories here are divided into three, six, and nine grades. The dormitory that Chen Xiaoxiao applied for is the best double building. It is a small two-story villa covering an area of more than 100 square meters. The first floor is the hall and the kitchen, and the second floor has two the room. The villa has an independent garden, which can be described as very comfortable. It's just that the cost is very expensive. Compared with commons hundreds of dollars a semester, dozens of dormitories are in the same building for four people. The cost of this double villa is as high as 100,000 yuan a semester, and there are only more than 100 buildings in the whole school. Even though it is expensive, it is still in short supply. This is what Chen Xiaoxiao asked her grandmother to find a relationship to apply for in advance. It's a pity that there is no one-person villa. After all, the school considers that the high school students are still young, and the two can take care of each other. Opening the door of the small villa, Chen Xiaoxiao saw that there were already shoes on one of the shoe cabinets inside the door, and Chen Xiaoxiao knew that the roommate had arrived. After closing the door of the dormitory, Chen Xiaoxiao went to another shoe cabinet to put the shoes in her storage bracelet into order, and then heard the sound of going down the stairs from upstairs, and at the same time heard a female voice calling. Chen Xiaoxiao, is that you? How come? Who is it? Why do you know it's me? Chen Xiaoxiao walked towards the hall in surprise. Chen Xiaoxiao, you are finally here. The girl walked down the stairs and said happily after seeing Chen Xiaoxiao. It's you. He Xiao Wen, what a coincidence. How do you know it's me? It turned out to be the monitor, Miss He Xiao Wen. He he. I asked my dad to find someone to tune it for me. How about it? Surprised or not? He Xiao Wen said mischievously. Surprise, of course it's a surprise, at least you don't have to worry about not getting along well. Chen Xiaoxiao also said happily. I thought the same way. I was worried that the roommates I didn't know would be hard to get along with, so I asked my dad to ask someone to transfer our two dormitories together. By the way, you just came here, let me help you pack your things. He Xiao Wen enthusiastically pulled Chen Xiaoxiao upstairs. Don't bother you, I can clean it up casually. Two people, hurry up. By the way, because you haven't come yet, I chose the room on the left first. If you don't like the room on the right, I can change it with you. I have cleaned both rooms. Walking upstairs, He Xiao Wen explained to Chen Xiao Xiao. It's okay, I don't care, thank you so much, Xiao Wen. When Chen Xiao Xiao heard that He Xiao Wen helped her clean the room, she happily hugged He Xiao Wen and kissed her, then walked to the room on the right. When I opened the door, I saw that the room has complete supporting facilities, including a wardrobe, a desk, a two-meter bed, and a separate bathroom. Chen Xiaoxiao expressed her satisfaction and could see that the room was cleaned very cleanly. She silently ordered 32 for He Xiao Wen. Thumbs up. Don't you really need help? Don't be polite to me. He Xiao Wen walked in behind Chen Xiaoxiao with a blushing face and continued to ask. No need, I'll be there soon. Chen Xiaoxiao said seriously. Come out, Gardevoir. After Chen Xiaoxiao released Gardevoir from the Poke Ball, she handed to Gardevoir the space bag that her grandmother had prepared for her daily necessities, and at the same time took off the storage bracelet and handed it to him, saying. Please, Gardevoir. Sinai. No trouble, leave it to me. Gardevoir replied obediently. Go, Xiao Wen, let's go down. After handing over the things to Gardevoir, Chen Xiaoxiao dragged the dumbfounded He Xiao Wen down. Gardevoir. It's still the Gardevoir of the Flash variant. It turns out that the Gardevoir of the Flash variant that has been circulating in the deep city is your Pokemon. Why didn't you tell me? You went to the capital some time ago, so the internet says that the capital is free Gardevoir of a different color in Flash appeared on the exchange square bravely fighting against black-hearted businessmen, and the Gardevoir in the undercover police cracking strange cases is also you. He Xiao Wen, who was dragged to sit on the sofa in the hall by Chen Xiaoxiao, 
finally came to her senses, and instantly turned into a curious baby, asking excitedly. How do you feel the deja vu of a cold moon? What else is there in the free trade square in Beijing? The flash of different colors Gardevoir, bravely fighting against black-hearted businessmen, and the undercover police solving strange cases are exactly the same as what Grandma said. Chen Xiaoxiao complained silently in her heart. Well, there should be no second Gardevoir with a different flash color in Shencheng, and this Gardevoir is also mentioned on the internet. And there is nothing to show off, you didn't ask, so I didn't say, and what Pokemon do you have? Don't know the same, do you? Chen Xiaoxiao explained. Well, no, your Gardevoir can still do housework. That's foul. He Xiao Wen was right when she thought about it, suddenly remembered something, and said in shock again. He he, the main thing is that I trained well. Chen Xiaoxiao, who was tickled by He Xiao Wen, said proudly. Chen Xiaoxiao wouldn't be too excited even if others said that she was strong or something. After all, my sister has something to do with her. It's not normal for her to be strong, should she? But Gardevoir knows how to do housework, which he taught with his own efforts. Can you not be proud? I'm really envious, I also want a Gardevoir who can do housework. He Xiao Wen said with envy. He he, this envy can't come, why don't we all release Pokemon to get to know each other? Chen Xiaoxiao suggested. Okay, let's put it together. He Xiao Wen immediately agreed. Come out. Sun Pokemon, Esper, Togepi. Chen Xiaoxiao. Come out. Primarina, Starmie. He Xiao Wen. Wow, why are your Pokemon so cute? That's too foul. Seeing Chen Xiaoxiao's Pokemon, he Xiao Wen's eyes immediately glowed, as if countless stars were shining in the eyes normal. It's okay, yours is not bad. Both Primarina and Starmie are very beautiful and well-bred. Chen Xiaoxiao was a little humble, but she couldn't hide the color on her face. At the same time, she praised He Xiao Wen, and there was a wave of business bragging. Of course, Primarina is a descendant of my father's Pokemon, but I grew up with it, and I tamed Starmie myself. He Xiao Wen became happy when she heard Chen Xiaoxiao's praise. Sun Pokemon, Esper, Togepi. This is my good friend He Xiao Wen. These two are He Xiao Wen's Pokemon Primarina, Starmie, you have to get along well, you know. He Xiao Wen also introduced her Pokemon. Primarina. Gender. Female sign. Level. Level 47 Quasi Elite Intermediate. Attribute. Water Fairy. Personality. Gentle, special defense plus physical attack. Ability. Torrent when HP is less than one third, the power of water type moves will increase by 1.5 times. Hidden ability. Voice of wet the attribute of the move that has the voice used by the Pokemon with the changed ability is changed to water type. Qualification. Elite. Starmie. Gender. No gender. Level. Level 38 peak elite. Attribute. Water psychic. Personality. Conservative, special attack plus physical attack. Ability, natural recovery, status condition will be cured after returning to the same team. Hidden ability, moist voice, if all other Pokemon's actions are ahead of your own, moves you use are 30% more powerful. Qualification, quasi-elite, the qualifications are good. Although Starmie only has quasi-elite qualifications, it is not impossible to break through to elite if trained well. Chen Xiaoxiao who checked the information of Primarina and Starmie, said secretly. Shanae. At this time, Gardevoir also helped Chen Xiaoxiao to sort it out, and Chen Xiaoxiao also introduced it. Deep City Pokemon High School. Different from the basic literacy and social knowledge of elementary school education, the main courses of Pokemon High School are Pokemon-related knowledge. Of course, there will be some cultural courses mixed in with the sports and art subjects in the previous life, but the main courses are Pokemon-related courses. Class 1 and 1 in high school. Chen Xiaoxiao, who has restarted her campus life, listened carefully to teacher's lecture. Well, yes, as her grandmother said, even if the high school teacher is not strong in general, he is an experienced trainer after all. Even though the knowledge taught in the first year of senior high school was only some simple common sense such as Pokemon habits, classification, and attribute, Chen Xiaoxiao still listened with great interest. After all, my knowledge of Pokemon is only learned from the cold words in the book. And teacher explained the cold words in the book through vivid language, which gave her a deeper understanding. 
As the saying goes, learn the new by reviewing the past, the same knowledge, at different times, at different ages or when listening to different people explain it, you will have different understandings. While listening to the class carefully, Chen Xiaoxiao was also taking notes. She needed to record her understanding in words to deepen her understanding. Apart from the usual classes, Chen Xiaoxiao spends her time at school in the library. After all, as the best Pokemon high school in Shenchung, one of the four, old first tier, cities, the collection of books is even better than that of some second and third tier universities. This is one of the reasons why Chen Xiaoxiao enrolled in this school. Although there are quite a few collections of books and insights from predecessors in my family, they are basically based on the superpower department. Chen Xiaoxiao needs to absorb other knowledge to enrich herself. Even the library of the super energy department has many impressive books, which can be used by Chen Xiaoxiao to fill in the gaps. Of course, the happy daily life with He Xiaowen is indispensable. Because of the roommate, the relationship between Chen Xiaoxiao and He Xiaowen has heated up sharply. Even at night, sometimes we share the same bed, although we can't do anything, but holding a Mitsumi girl rest always makes me feel good, doesn't it? Leng Yu will also contact Zhou Tong through Pokedex every day to maintain the relationship between girlfriends. In short, the days passed like this day by day. Early in the morning, Washa region, Shencheng, in a seaside villa in the suburbs. In a certain room, a young girl is sleeping soundly in a warm blanket. The girl has milk-like skin, and her fluffy blonde hair sets off her whiter and tenderer skin. Her pink lips, slender eyebrows and her slender black eyelashes are like a princess from a cartoon. Judging from the expression of the girl's slightly raised mouth corners, it seems that she is having a sweet dream, and people can't bear to wake her up. But at this time, the ruthless sunlight was quietly shining on the girl through the floor-to-ceiling windows of the room. The girl's fair and tender cheeks were slightly reddish, her slender eyebrows were slightly wrinkled, and then the girl slowly woke up, opening her eyes to reveal a pair of transparent and bright eyes. The girl who woke up sat up in the bed, stretched her waist, and the thin silk quilt on her body slid down the girl's fair skin, revealing a beautiful and perfect body. Unfortunately, no one is blessed to appreciate this scene at this time. Suddenly, the girl picked up the Pokemon Pokedex placed on the bedside table quickly as if thinking about something, opened the calendar, and saw Mickey displayed on it ten days later, the girl cried out in surprise and excitement. Ah, what is the ghost screaming in the early morning? Get up, wash and have breakfast immediately. A slightly old voice came from outside. Hee hee, I see, grandma. I'll get up right away. The girl responded and walked to the window, looking at the scenery outside the window, feeling the warm sunlight from the early morning sun, took a deep breath, and at the same time thought in her heart. It's been 10 years since I came to this world. At the same time, I've turned 16 today. I can finally apply to become an official trainer to travel. I can explore around openly and above board, and I don't have to sneak out anymore. That's right, the girl is our protagonist, Ms. Chen Xiaoxiao. As the saying goes, time flies like an arrow, the sun and the moon fly like a shuttle, time flies, and now nearly four years have passed, and at the same time, it has been ten years since Chen Xiaoxiao came to this world. In the past four years, Chen Xiaoxiao has absorbed a large amount of knowledge based on the principle that knowledge is power, and at the same time she has not given up on her Pokemon training. Now her Pokemon is stronger than it was four years ago. Solgaleo. Gender no gender level level 82 champion primary attribute steel psychic character brave physical attack plus speed ability brain core power the power of the moves with excellent effects is increased by 25 percent hidden ability prism armor excellent moves deal 25 percent less damage props curved spoon after carrying it the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times Metal coat, after carrying it, the power of using steel type skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification. Legendary level. Gardevoir. Gender. Female sign. Level. Level 76. Elite peak. Attribute. Psychic fairy. Personality. Conservative. Special attack plus physical attack. Ability. Sync. Transfer own poison. Paralyzed or burned contest condition to rival. Hidden ability. Telepathy. Props, 
Curved spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, champion, sun Pokemon, gender, female sign, level, level 71, elite advanced, attribute, psychic, personality, conservative, special attack plus physical attack, ability, adaptability, the effect of the attribute consistent bonus is increased from the original 50% of the attack power increase to 100%. Hidden Ability, Magic Mirror, continuously in the Magic Coat Contest condition when you are on the field, invalidate some of the opponent's changing moves that target you, and bounce back to the user of the move. Props, Curved Spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, Champion, Metagross, Flash, Gender, No Gender, Level, Level 68, Elite Intermediate, Attribute, Steel Psychic. Personality, serious, no change. Ability, constant and pure body under normal circumstances. Stat modifiers will not be reduced by the moves and abilities of the opponent and companions. Hidden ability, hard claw, increases the power of contact moves by 30%. Props, curved spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Metal Coat, after carrying it, the power of using steel type skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, Champion, Meostic, Gender, Male Sign, Level, Level 58, Quasi Elite Peak, Attribute, Psychic, Personality, Gentle, Special Defense plus Physical Attack, Ability, Penetration, can penetrate rivals barrier or substitute to attack. Hidden Ability, Competitive, when the ability level is lowered by rival, the special attack will be increased by two levels for every one level lowered. Props, Curved Spoon, after carrying it, the power of super attribute skills becomes 1.2 times. Qualification, Champion, Togekiss, Gender, Female Sign, Level, Level 58, Quasi Elite Peak, Attribute, Fairy Flying, Personality, Conservative, Special Attack plus Physical Attack, Ability, Heaven's Grace the appearance rate of additional effects when using moves times 2, if it exceeds 100%, additional effects will definitely appear. Hidden Ability, Super Lucky, hitting the key level increases by 1 level. Item, Sharp Beak, after carrying it, the power of flying type moves increases by 20%. Scope Lens, after carrying it, the key hit level increases by 1 level. Qualification, Champion. At the same time, in the past four years, many major events have happened in China Ben, among which is a series of high-level changes in China triggered by the retirement of China champion Lin Shuang two years ago. Chinese champion Lin Shuang, a master of the grass department, retired at the age of 55 and served as the Chinese champion for 14 years. Among them, champion-level Pokemon have Udemon's Shaman soaring in the sky form, Venusaur, Serperior, Roserade, Lilligant. The five championship teams can be described as extremely contest. At that time, the news of retirement could be said to have directly caused China's big earthquake. And because the champion Lin Shuang had decided to retire, Huaxia executives had no choice but to hold an elite selection contest. After the current four elites, another elite was selected, and then the current four elites and the newly appointed elite, five elites held a championship challenge game. In the elite selection competition, after layers of screening, more than 50 elite trainers who are powerful, clean, and have no criminal records within three generations were finally selected. The elite selection competition was held in the bird's nest, the capital of China. Of course, in order to demonstrate China's strength and background, and also to eliminate the adverse effects caused by the retirement of the champion Lin Shuang, the elite trials will be broadcast live. The elite selection competition can be described as intense and extremely exciting. Chen Xiaoxiao went to the bird's nest to watch the whole process, which can be described as exciting. In the end, He Xiao Wen's father, He Yang, relied on the champion Primarina and the heterochromatic Flash Gyarados. The strong strength of the two crowns stood out among more than 50 elite trainers and won the new elite position of Huaxia Water System. Of course, He Xiao Wen was cheering and cheering for the competition about her father. He Xiao Wen, who saw her father winning and successfully reached the top of region elite, was so excited that she hugged Chen Xiaoxiao and kissed her dozens of times. It made Chen Xiaoxiao feel really refreshed. 
However, the subsequent championship match was not held publicly, and of course it would not be broadcast live on TV. It was only held under the supervision of China's internal senior management. But as two good girlfriends with elite fathers, Chen Xiaoxiao of course also successfully got into the venue of the championship challenge. The championship challenge was even worse than the elite trials. At the same time, Chen Xiaoxiao sighed secretly that the strength of Huaxia region elite should not be underestimated. The worst He Xiaowen's father, He Yang, also had two champions at the peak of the elite four, and there were several elite level alternate teams. And other long-standing elites also have at least three championship teams. Of course, it doesn't mean that He Yang is weak. He Yang is a standard commoner elite, who was born in a small fishing village near Shencheng. There are no resources to supply along the way, all on their own, being able to reach the top of the elite is enough to show their talent. Although the final result of this championship challenge is only at the bottom, I believe that in a few years, with the resources of region elite, the strength will usher in a period of soaring again. And Chen Xiaoxiao also saw the strength of Leng Yu's father Leng Xin for the first time in this championship challenge. The main players turned out to be Articuno, who is the 93 level champion of advanced, Lapras, who is the 87 level champion of intermediate, Ice Ninetales, who is the 86 level champion of intermediate, and Mamoswine, who is the 82 level champion of primary. There are also several elite peak Pokemon, among which Vanillux has reached level 80 and almost reached the champion level. It's a pity that Vanillux's talent is only at the elite level, and it will take many years to break through the bottleneck. Of course, the final result was that Leng Yu's father, Leng Xin, was superior in strength, and finally succeeded in wearing four and becoming the champion of China. At the same time, he was only 38 years old at the time, three years younger than He Xiaowen's father, He Yang. After seeing Leng Xin's strength, Chen Xiaoxiao couldn't help wondering whether former champion Lin Shuang retired voluntarily to protect himself. As for whether it is really as Chen Xiaoxiao imagined, it is not known. As for a small incident that Chen Xiaoxiao paid a little attention to happened at the same time during the past four years. An acquaintance participated in the National Alliance competition and won the championship in the year after the former champion Lin Shuang retired and became the champion with cold heart, and in the year before Chen Xiaoxiao turned 16 and won the championship in the Global Pokemon Alliance competition in the same year and won the runner-up in the Global Pokemon Alliance competition. This, acquaintance, is the original, stupid, Xu Fei. At the age of 19, he participated in the alliance competition where anyone under the age of 25 can sign up to win the China region champion, and the global region runner-up can be said to be very strong. As for the reason, in the past few years, there have been some adventures, and the strength has been greatly improved, and at the same time, it has also been recognized by the Beast Entei, and actively followed. Chen Xiaoxiao couldn't help lamenting that stupid people have stupid blessings. Among those who specialize in fire and have relatively popular personalities, it is also his strange thing that there is a stupid Xu Fei. As for being a branch of the family, will he be slapped in the face by the seniors of the main line of the family asking him to hand over the beast? Chen Xiaoxiao didn't know, at least in Chen Xiaoxiao's understanding, the world is relatively harmonious, and some normal children of the family have good qualities. At the same time, in this world, mythical beasts cannot be subdued, because the reason why mythical beasts are mythical beasts is because their life level and upper limit are higher than other Pokemon, and Pokeball cannot trap mythical beasts, even unground mythical beasts. Many divine beast trainers are subdued because they are recognized by the divine beast and are willing to follow the trainer. As for grabbing, you won't listen to you even if you snatch the beast, just turn around and break the Pokeball by yourself and leave. Therefore, Chen Xiaoxiao's Solgaleo was registered on Pokédex when he was just born. At the time, Alliance was just a newly discovered psychic Pokémon. After all, there are only more than 600 kinds of Pokémon discovered in this world. At the same time, there will be new Pokémon discovered every few years. This is already the norm, so it has not received much attention. At the same time, no one knows that Solgaleo, who evolved from Cosmog, is a first-level god. In the eyes of people in this world, divine beasts may be able to transform into other forms, but they have not been discovered through evolution. This is the blind spot in this world's cognition of divine beasts. 
At the same time, it was also the reason why Chen Xiaoxiao dared to register Cosmog at a young age without much strength. Drip, drop, drop. Hearing the familiar penguin beat, Chen Xiaoxiao, who was having breakfast, opened the penguin software on Pokedex. Happy birthday. Are you going to apply for an official trainer today? Leng Yu. Happy birthday. Same question, same question. He Xiao Wen. Well, this is Chen Xiaoxiao, Leng Yu, and He Xiao Wen. Leng Yu has also been to Shencheng twice in recent years. So I also got to know He Xiao Wen. In addition, the Elite Trials and Championship Challenge in the past two years were held for nearly the entire summer vacation, so Chen Xiaoxiao and He Xiao Wen also stayed in the capital for nearly two months. I have a good girlfriend. Thank you. Well, I'm having breakfast, I'll go later. Chen Xiaoxiao. I'm so envious, I won't be able to qualify until September. Cry. Leng Yu. I'm even worse, it's going to be November. Cry. He Xiao Wen. It's okay, I will take photos of the wonderful world outside and send them to you, don't worry, who made us good sisters. Chen Xiao Xiao. End of friends. Leng Yu. Ditto. He Xiao Wen. Seeing Leng Yu and He Xiao Wen's replies, Chen Xiao Xiao couldn't help being dumbfounded. He Xiao Wen has also learned from Leng Yu badly. Xiao Xiao, you will be 16 today, what are your plans? At this time, the grandmother who was eating breakfast suddenly asked Chen Xiao Xiao. I plan to apply for a formal trainer today, and then I will officially start traveling after graduating from school in a month. What's wrong? Didn't I say it before? Chen Xiaoxiao replied suspiciously. Well, it's like this. Yesterday, an old classmate contacted me. He is now in charge of recruiting students in the Pokemon class admissions office of Watching University. He asked about your situation. At the same time, he said that he can specially recruit you into watching university. Now he is in Shencheng, I will come here later, so I will ask you what you mean. Grandma explained. Help me push it, do I still need his special move? Chen Xiaoxiao looked disgusted. I have been in school for 10 years, and I finally made it to the age of 16. I don't want to go to college for another 4 years. If you can show your strength in school in the past few years, my old classmates will not come to Shenzhen Jodo region if you don't come here at the first time. When my old classmates asked about you yesterday, I wanted to brag about my granddaughter, Blo. Grandma said with a look of regret. Well, Chen Xiaoxiao figured it out, it turned out that this place is waiting for me. After all, someone like grandma is close to 60 years old, can old friends still brag about themselves? Of course it is blowing children and grandchildren. And Chen Xiaoxiao has been relatively low-key in school for the past few years. Apart from relatively good theoretical results, she basically didn't participate in the small competitions held in the school, so even if grandma knows that Chen Xiaoxiao's Pokemon is very strong and wants to show off, there is no convincing example to talk about. As for directly saying how strong Chen Xiaoxiao is, don't be kidding, people will only think you are bragging. Okay, I understand, I'll make you proud, grandma. Knowing the meaning, Chen Xiaoxiao immediately agreed. Well, it's good to understand, go ahead, since you don't want to go to college, just wait for my old classmates to receive you yourself. Knowing that Chen Xiaoxiao understood what she meant, the grandmother immediately said kindly. Where did I go out? Chen Xiaoxiao, who came out of the house, boarded a taxi and headed straight to the downtown area of Shenzhen City. When I came to the downtown area of Shenzhen, I saw a building tens of stories high, with a magnificent appearance, full of modern technology, and a red and white Pokeball logo hanging in the center of the building, which is the Shencheng Pokemon Center. Hi, I'm here to register as an official trainer. Chen Xiaoxiao, who came to the Pokemon Center Trainer Management Office, said to one of the window staff. Open the Pokedex while placing it on the sensor on the table. Said the staff. Drop. Follow the instructions of the staff to open the Pokedex and put the Pokedex on the desktop sensor, and then there will be a beep, and at the same time, the Pokedex will display a message saying, Shencheng Trainer Management Office requests to read personal information is allowed. According to the prompts of the staff, after clicking yes, after simple information entry, registration and payment of relevant handling fees, Chen Xiaoxiao became an official trainer gloriously. Here you can only apply for registration as a trainer. 
If you need to test Pokemon's strength and improve your trainer level, please go to the 18th floor above for testing. The staff who helped Chen Xiaoxiao complete the official trainer information registration reminded. Okay, thank you. Go up to the 18th floor of the Pokemon Center and find the staff. Hi, I'm here for Pokemon Strength Test and Trainer Registration Assessment. Chen Xiaoxiao. Open the Pokedex while placing it on the sensor on the table. Same request as previous staff member. Drop. Similarly, the Pokedex displays a prompt whether to allow reading information. Chen Xiaoxiao, who has experience, naturally does not need to be reminded, and just clicks yes. Have you just turned 16 and become a trainer? To become a primary elite trainer, you need to have 6 Pokemon and at least 1 elite strength Pokemon. You should know this. Seeing that Chen Xiaoxiaoxuan's trainer information showed that he had just become an official trainer within 10 minutes, the staff asked. I know, I'm here to apply to be promoted to an elite trainer. Chen Xiaoxiao said directly. Stop joking, little sister, do you know what the elite class is? The worker said with a disbelieving smile. The other staff also chuckled when they heard it. Of course, this was not meant to be ridiculed, but a kind smile because they thought Chen Xiaoxiao was an ignorant little girl. Well, I'm too lazy to talk, if I don't show my strength, you all think I'm Hello Kitty. Chen Xiaoxiao directly took off one of the two shrunken pokey balls hanging around his neck. Come out, Gardevoir. Unleash your momentum, Shanae. After Gardevoir came out of the Poke Ball, blue psychic radiance glowed all over his body, and the radiance seemed to be condensed into normal slime flowing slowly around Shayna's body. Before the staff in the entire office could appreciate Gardevoir's graceful figure, they felt as if the air was being emptied, a sense of suffocation came to their faces, and at the same time, there seemed to be an illusion of being weighed down by a heavy weight. What a strong Gardevoir. This is the unified voice of the staff in the entire office at this time. Okay Gardevoir, can you arrange an elite trainer test for me now? Seeing Gardevoir stunned everyone present, Chen Xiaoxiao asked Gardevoir to stop and show off his momentum, and at the same time asked the staff who handled his business. Yes, yes. To apply for a primary elite trainer, you need to have at least one elite Pokemon and five quasi-elite Pokemon. Or you can have two elite Pokemon. Which kind of test do you need? After all, he is a staff member of the four, old first tier, cities, and has received quite a few elite trainers. Although he was slightly shocked by Gardevoir just now, he quickly adjusted his mentality, but the shock still remained in his eyes. Let's test two elite Pokemon. Chen Xiaoxiao thought about it, and if all the Pokemon in the team are tested, they can directly become intermediate elite trainers. It's not good to throw out all the cards at once. Applying for a primary elite trainer at the age of 16 is enough to trigger China's earthquake, so let's keep a low profile. The staff was shocked again after hearing Chen Xiaoxiao's words, and sighed inwardly. One more elite Pokemon. It's just good work quality without exclaiming directly, saying. Okay, this way, please follow me. The other side. An old man about 60 years old came to Chen Xiaoxiao's home. Chen Xiaoxiao's grandmother warmly received and entered the door, and said hello to each other. After a little scene, the old classmate asked. By the way, why haven't you seen your granddaughter? Oh, Xiaoxiao, what a kid, I just turned 16 today and I can't wait to apply for a formal trainer qualification. Grandma explained. Oh, today's young people are more impetuous. What about the old classmates? I learned that although your granddaughter has good theoretical grades, it should not be a problem to be admitted to watching, but this special enrollment is important for training and in terms of resources, it is definitely better than common students, and you are also a graduate of watching, so you should understand the strength of Chu watching. The old classmate felt a little unhappy when he heard that Chen Xiaoxiao was not there, so he came over in person, but Chen Xiaoxiao was not at home. I represent the best academy in Huaxia, and I feel that I am not taken seriously. But after all, he was an old Zhanghu, so he didn't show it. After all, the purpose of this time was to recruit Chen Xiaoxiao into watching, so it shouldn't be affected by such trivial matters. After all, Chen Xiaoxiao's family has been psychic for generations, and they have an inexplicable fit for superpower Pokemon. At the same time, each generation is an elite level trainer, and two of them have been Washa region elite. 
Every generation of Chen Xiaoxiao's family is wanted by universities and colleges. Unfortunately, none of the Chen family's generation is willing to go to college. At the same time, every generation of Chen's family has elders who practice coaching. The major academies also know that their schools are not as good as the Chen family's elders in terms of super energy department, so they just let it go. But when it came to Chen Xiaoxiao's generation, all colleges and universities saw opportunities. Because Chen Xiaoxiao became an orphan, without the coaching of her elders, she was only raised by her grandmother, and Chen Xiaoxiao's grandmother was just a breeder family. It would be a waste of talent to train a generation of talents with powerful supernatural talents into a breeder family. Therefore, while the various colleges and universities were still waiting to see, watching university took the lead in coming to Chen Xiaoxiao's home based on its relationship with Chen Xiaoxiao's grandmother and carried out persuasion work. Of course I know watching's strength, but you know, they are all 16-year-old traveling abroad, and they don't have the habit of going to college. Grandma said, we are also aware of this, but after all, this child has no parents to teach, and if he explores on his own, he may not be able to reach the heights of his predecessors. If he comes to watching to continue his studies, he can get more systematic teaching. At the same time, special enrollment if you can get key training, there will also be a tilt in resources. I understand that your granddaughter doesn't seem to have many Pokemon. At the same time, her strength is not obvious in high school. According to her performance, no matter how good the theoretical knowledge is, she can't meet the special recruitment standard, this time it is a special case for her, old classmate, don't disappoint your alma mater's good intentions. The old classmate said it with emotion and reason benefit. Of course, I am also very grateful to my alma mater for valuing my granddaughter Xiao Xiao, but Xiao Xiao has always had her own ideas and has been relatively independent since she was a child. I can't force my own ideas on her, so let's forget about it. Grandma said in embarrassment. Old classmate, you know, their Chen family has very good super talent, and super power Pokemon are rare and difficult to catch. If your granddaughter is willing to study in our watching, we watching can try our best to help match the team. The old classmates saw that they couldn't do anything, so they continued to overweight. You don't need to worry about this. My family Xiao Xiao is already close to having a team of superpowers, and they all conquered it by themselves. Grandma remained silent on the surface, but secretly cheered up in her heart, he he, she actually underestimated our family Xiao Xiao. Oh, is it so? When the old classmates heard that Chen Xiao Xiao already had close to a team of superpower Pokemon, he felt that it was tricky. Maybe Chen Xiao Xiao had something special that didn't match the information on the surface. It is not easy for watching to gather a team of superpower Pokemon. Of course, it is very easy for the poorly qualified common superpower system Starmie, Slowpoke, Coconut Tree Eggs, etc. Of course, watching can open his mouth to help the team difference. But looking at Chen Xiaoxiao's grandmother's calm look, she knew that the Pokemon she said Chen Xiaoxiao owned was also not bad in aptitude. Otherwise, they wouldn't be unmoved when they heard that watching was willing to help with the team. After sorting out his thoughts for a while, he continued. By the way, the dean of our superpower department in watching is a powerful elite trainer of the superpower department. We mentioned your grandson's situation to him. He was very interested and said that if your granddaughter performed well, you can consider taking her as an apprentice. How about it? Old classmate, it's interesting enough. The dean of the superpower department has not confiscated his apprentice yet, and he entered the top eight in the elite trials in the past two years. For us in watching yes, but it is one of the top few, and it should be the strongest expert in the superpower department in China. I believe that with the talent shown by the Chen family in the past, your granddaughter's talent is not bad, and it is very likely that this the dean looks at it. The old classmates increased their weight this time, knowing it to benefit. Originally, this shouldn't be said, after all, the dean only said to observe the performance for a period of time, and did not expressly express his willingness to accept apprentices. But in order to complete the task, I had to say it out. After all, it is a cake, whether you can eat it or not depends on yourself. Puff. Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao finally couldn't help laughing when she heard this, what observation, performance, and consideration. Hee <laughs> hee. 
When the old classmate saw Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao smiling, she thought she was moved, and her face turned pale. As for Chen Xiaoxiao's idea, he didn't consider it. After all, wouldn't it be enough to convince the parents? Okay, okay, old classmate, I'm very happy that you came to me to talk about the past, but let's stop here about my Xiaoxiao, okay? Fortunately, Xiaoxiao didn't hear what you said just now, otherwise she will be unhappy. Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao couldn't pretend anymore, so she had to stop talking. When the old classmate heard her say that Chen Xiaoxiao would be unhappy, she thought she was worried that some dean would look down on her and be unhappy, and was about to persuade her again, when suddenly Chen Xiaoxiao's grandma's Pokédex sounded a penguin message notification. Grandma Chen Xiaoxiao opened Pokédex and looked at it for a while, with a kind smile on her face and said involuntarily. This child is still so smart, he is still hiding his clumsiness. Although the old classmate didn't understand what she meant, it was not difficult to guess that it was a message from her granddaughter, and said in a heartbeat. Is it your granddaughter? If you don't want her to come back, I'll talk to her again and let her think about it again. It's a very rare opportunity for the most apex super master in China to accept apprentices. If you can get his teaching, you may it is also possible to become an elite trainer. I really don't need to think about it, I don't think he is qualified to be my master Xiao Xiao. Hearing that her old classmate was still talking about this topic, Grandma Chen Xiao Xiao became unhappy, and at the same time handed the Pokédex to her old classmate. Although the old classmate didn't know why, he still took the Pokédex, and he couldn't help exclaiming after seeing it. Elite Level Trainer The time has come to June, and it has been more than a month since Chen Xiao Xiao became an official trainer. Although Chen Xiaoxiao also wanted to start the journey right away, but she hadn't finished her high school course yet, so she had no choice but to suppress the impulse in her heart and continue this last campus life. A person still has to start and end, right? During this period of time, there were also many colleges such as Beijing University and Shenzhen University. The personnel in charge of recruiting approached Chen Xiaoxiao, but Chen Xiaoxiao did not argue with them and politely refused, expressing that he had no intention of going to university. Later, the various colleges learned from certain channels that Chen Xiaoxiao was already an elite trainer, and then nothing happened. The 16-year-old elite trainer is two years younger than the youngest 18-year-old in history. Even after graduating from major colleges and universities, 20-year-old graduates in the whole country can't produce a few elite grades a year, and there is absolutely no place that can attract Chen Xiaoxiao in major colleges and universities. At this time, Shencheng Pokemon High School, class 1 of the fourth year of high school. The teacher in charge was explaining some university admission standards on the podium, while Chen Xiaoxiao was deserting the audience because he was determined not to enroll in the university, and was logging into the Washa trainer community with a Pokédex to check some information. The Washa trainer community is an official Washa BBS forum. Only official trainers can register and log in through Pokédex. The BBS has major sections, such as national sections and major city sections, trading sections, trainers at all levels, and so on. Among them, trainers at all levels can only log into the same or lower boards according to their own trainer level. And Chen Xiaoxiao is an elite level trainer, so he naturally has the authority to browse the entire network. Chen Xiaoxiao did not directly open the elite trainer section, but opened the national primary training section first. After all, the national trainer section has a low threshold and a large crowd base. You only need to be a formal trainer at the age of 16 to log in. Therefore, the information coverage in it is high, and there are all kinds of anecdotes, some of which are valuable information. After opening the national primary training section, because today is the day when all major high schools graduate, there are many posts on it such as cute new reports. There are also posts asking for a group trip in major cities. I opened a post asking for a group with a relatively large number of replies, and I saw that the poster also posted a photo of himself. Well. He is still a bit handsome. Scroll down to see. Reply from the first floor. Is it my sofa? Reply from the second floor. The host looks good, one tenth as handsome as me. Reply from the third floor. The landlord has a mine in his home, and the appraisal has been completed. Reply from the fourth floor. Can a pseudo mother do it? The landlord replied to the fourth floor. 
fool off the hypocrite. Silalu replied, Don't treat the fake mother as a mother. Landlord reply, Chen Xiao Xiao couldn't help but smile knowingly, exited the post, and checked other information. After a cursory look, one of them caught Chen Xiao Xiao's attention. A trainer who just traveled posted an interesting story about his travel a few days ago. The general process is that he met a Pokemon he liked very much in a forest in Shanto City, lost his way in the forest after chasing the Pokemon, and was trapped in the forest for several days. Normal there is no signal in the deep mountains and wild forests. Because of the lack of flying Pokemon, he couldn't go out. Later, in desperation, he vaguely heard a little Stephanie's voice pointing him in the direction, and then walked out according to the direction pointed by the voice. Scrolling down, some people replied that the host had encountered a ghost, some said it was the fourth biggest illusion in life, and some said it was a kind ghost or something like Pokemon, but Chen Xiaoxiao was moved in his heart. Ghost-type Pokemon can't speak, this should be telepathy, except for the beasts and Noivern, the rest are basically superpower Pokemon. Well, Shanto City is not far from Shenchun, this place can be used as the first place to travel a destination. Chen Xiaoxiao silently made a decision. At this time, the whole class suddenly applauded. Chen Xiaoxiao raised her head and saw that it was the teacher who was praising two classmates who had good grades, excellent performance in normal times and were specially recruited. One is Chen Xiaoxiao's deskmate, roommate and best friend. He Xiao Wen got a special move from Shenzhen University. Although she is already an elite girl, because she was born as a commoner and her family has no background, He Yang asked He Xiao Wen to continue her studies in university. And He Xiao Wen, as the daughter of the current Washa region elite, is of course the goal of major universities, at least politically correct, not to mention that He Xiao Wen has always had good theoretical grades, and her usual performance is also excellent. As for why not watching, Beijing University. That's because watching university and Beijing University are only ranked first and second in the country comprehensively. At the same time, after all, it is an inland college, and its water system is not as good as the deep university near the sea. As a major in the water system, He Xiao Wen of course chose the deep university with the first water system. As for the other one is Ma Jun, the nephew of Brother Penguin. Although his academic performance is only a little worse than that of Chen Xiaoxiao and He Xiao Wen, he has always been the first in his class in Pokemon training and in school Pokemon competitions, and he was specially recruited by watching. Of course, this is only because Chen Xiaoxiao did not participate. At the same time, He Xiao Wen saw that Chen Xiaoxiao did not participate, so she has not participated in related Pokemon strength tests and Pokemon battles. Those who enroll in Pokemon High School do not necessarily all go in the direction of the trainer. Some may target the breeder family, and some may target the researcher. Most of these people have not conducted Pokemon strength tests and school Pokemon battles, so Chen Xiaoxiao and He Xiao Wen are not alone. But Ma Jun, who was being praised at this time, was not happy at all. Hearing the applause of his classmates, he felt a deep sense of bitterness in his heart. As a large taxpayer in the country, Penguin is naturally acquainted with some public officials in Shenchun, and also learned of Chen Xiaoxiao's becoming an elite trainer through some channels. When Xiao Ma learned that he was in the same school as his nephew, he would naturally ask Ma Jun if he knew him, so Ma Jun also knew the news. What is this? Ma Jun asked himself in his heart. He has always been praised by the teacher, and has always been the first in the Pokemon strength test and the school Pokemon battle competition. Ma Jun, who has even preached that Shencheng was the number one in his age group, and at the same time he used to think so, was slapped hard by the reality. At the same time, Ma Jun looked at Chen Xiaoxiao's position, and saw Chen Xiaoxiao playing Pokédex indifferently. What is this? Ma Jun asked himself again. Is this considered contempt? It turns out that what I have always been proud of is just something that others don't want. Ma Jun said bitterly in his heart, and at the same time gradually let go of his complacency and arrogance, as if his soul had been sublimated. As for Ma Jun's mental activities, of course Chen Xiaoxiao would not be interested in knowing, she just wanted to end this rascal's graduation ceremony as soon as possible. The boring graduation ceremony is finally over. Chen Xiaoxiao successfully obtained the certificate of the four years of study, graduation certificate. 
Afterwards, after saying goodbye to the reluctant He Xiao Wen, Chen Xiao Xiao officially embarked on the journey. Leaving Shencheng Pokemon High School, Chen Xiao Xiao took a taxi and went straight to the outside of Shencheng City. Because trainers are prohibited from flying in the city except for Didi Bidiao, Chen Xiao Xiao had to choose to take a taxi. Fortunately, Shencheng Pokemon High School was originally it was established on the outskirts of Shencheng, so it is not far from the outside of the city, only a few minutes by car. After arriving outside Shencheng, Chen Xiaoxiao directly threw a Poke Ball. Come out, Togekiss. A red light flashed from the Poke Ball, and then an egg-shaped body appeared in front of Chen Xiaoxiao. The body was covered with white's fluffy fur, with broad triangular wings, and a triangle pattern of red and blue on the lower abdomen. The front of the head there are spikes, which are divided into three bunches of feathers. The middle one is white, and the left and right are Pokemon with red and blue tips respectively. It is Togekiss evolved from Togepi. Because today is Washa's high school graduation time, there are many novice trainings outside the city. After Chen Xiaoxiao released Togekiss, Togekiss' graceful figure immediately attracted the attention of many novice trainers. Wow, look, Togekiss, passerby A, ah, it's so cool, I really want such a cool flying Pokemon. Passerby B, wake up brother, it's broad daylight. Passerby C, wow, so beautiful. Passerby D, is it just me who noticed that Togekiss's trainer is very beautiful? Passerby E, when I say beautiful, I mean Pocket's trainer. Passerby D, friends. Passersby D, E, ignoring these novice trainers, Togekiss is a very rare and precious Pokemon, so it's normal to attract everyone's attention. As for the question of whether she is pretty or not, Chen Xiaoxiao has a B number in her heart. She has been approached many times while walking on the street. The love letters received at school are enough to cook a hot pot meal. I can already be immune to all kinds of eyes. Jumped directly on Togekiss's back and said, Let's go, Togekiss. Sitting behind Togekiss, Chen Xiaoxiao sat behind Togekiss and looked at the endless beautiful scenery below, which gave her a feeling of being at the top of the mountain and looking at all the small mountains. At the same time, she opened her arms and felt the wind blowing in front of her, wrote. It feels so good to fly in soaring in the sky. After sighing for a while, Chen Xiaoxiao took out Pokedex and opened the penguin map. Set a good destination, Shanto City. The navigation method is set to, flying. The route is set to, avoid cities along the way. Because the city sky is not allowed to fly, so avoid. The penguin map shows the best flying route from the current location to Shanto City, and the voice reminder throughout the process is very considerate and convenient. Flying all the way, about an hour later, arrived outside the city of Shanto. Of course, this is because there is no full flying, if it is full flying, it will only be faster. Togekiss, land ahead. After landing safely outside Shan City, Chen Xiaoxiao took out the energy cube and gave it to Togekiss while touching its head and said. I'm sorry for you, Togekiss, let's eat something first and then take a rest in the Poke Ball. At this time, a trainer who was about 18 or 9 years old came over and asked. Are you a trainer from out of town? Your Togekiss is a very rare Pokemon. I can see that you have trained well. Are you interested in a 1v1 Pokemon battle? With your Togekiss. Chen Xiaoxiao's face darkened, and she said, since you know that I'm from out of town. You should know that my Togekiss has been flying me for a long time, so you have the nerve to challenge me. The young trainer froze, and apologized, I'm sorry. I'm an apprentice at the flying gymnasium in Shanto City, majoring in flying. I just proposed to fight when I saw your Togekiss happy with Lyaxon. I didn't think about it. Much, sorry. Hearing the young trainer's words and sincere apology, Chen Xiaoxiao also knew that he didn't mean it. The trainer of the flying department also understood when he saw the flying department Pokemon and Lai Xinxi. At the same time, when he heard that he said that he was an apprentice of the flying gymnasium in Shanto City, Chen Xiaoxiao felt moved. On the Washa Trainer Forum, the post said that the forest near Shanto City did not clearly specify which forest it was. At the same time, the post on the internet has been posted for several days. Many people should have guessed that it is a superpower it is the telepathy of Pokemon. I believe that some trainers have searched around Shanto City based on clues. 
If you search blindly, you may not be able to find the right place and waste time. And this trainer is an apprentice of the Flying Gymnasium in Shanto City. The environment around the city is relatively clear, so you can ask him about the surrounding situation. At this time, Togekiss rubbed against Chen Xiaoxiao, and at the same time interrupted her with a soft cry. Chen Xiaoxiao, who can understand the Pokemon language, of course knew what Togekiss meant, touched Togekiss's head and smiled. Togekiss wants to have a Pokemon battle too. No need to take a break. Togekiss shook his head, expressing that he was not tired and did not need to rest. At the same time, he raised his head with fighting spirit in his eyes. After understanding what Togekiss meant, Chen Xiaoxiao agreed, and then asked the trainer beside him. Okay, the trainer, my name is Zhang Guaxiang, is it really okay? I really didn't mean it just now. Zhang Guaxiang introduced his name, asked with concern, and explained embarrassingly. My name is Chen Xiaoxiao, it's okay, you saw it too, my Togekiss also wants to be active, let's release your Pokemon. Chen Xiaoxiao also said after introducing her name. Okay, then I'm welcome, come out. Altaria. Zhang Guaxiang released his Pokemon excitedly. Togekiss is a very rare Pokemon. The chance to meet a trainer with Togekiss willing to fight is not many, and he doesn't want to miss this opportunity. Seeing that the Pokemon released by Zhang Guaxiang turned out to be Dragon Plus Flying type, Mega will become Fairy Plus Dragon type after evolution. Altaria was nicknamed, Dragon Trader, in his previous life. Chen Xiaoxiao was a little surprised. He didn't expect that the trainers he met outside of Shanto City would have such a rare dragon Pokemon. Is it really a simple apprentice? As the saying goes, if you know yourself and the enemy, you can win a hundred battles. After a little surprise, you use the system to check the information of Altaria. Altaria. Gender. Male sign. Level. Level 53, Quasi Elite Advanced. Attribute, Dragon Flying. Personality, Gentle, Special Defense plus Physical Attack. Ability, Natural Recovery, Status Condition will be cured after returning to the same team. Hidden Ability, Regardless of whether, Pokemon with this ability will not be affected by any weather induced bonuses and weakening, ability and form changes, etc. Qualification, Quasi Elite. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.